want to start... I don't want to share my screen with it on it because that is slightly illegal. Um, because if you... Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to look into it. Uh, if I did do it, it would uh, be very uh, quiet. And I wouldn't... I would just advertise a community night. <laughs> And I wouldn't type anywhere that that's what I was doing, but I'll, I'll look into it. I'll see if there's a way that we can do it. But I think I remember seeing, I don't know if it's the Twitch watch party that I'm thinking of, but I don't know. I know Crunchyroll and stuff, I'm sure they have like a watch party thing where you can watch together. But I don't know if Amazon Prime does. If not, we will have to all sit in the Discord. <laughs> push play at the same time. But yeah, I've, I've got to be, I've got to be careful. I've got to be careful. Yeah, my FPS is like 20. What is going on with my computer at the moment? I should have done the clear out yesterday, but I was busy editing videos again. I was being a good girl. Getting on with work. I was doing some important things. Stuff and things. Okay, so there's still not an update for Lazy Rit. This is annoying. I don't miss having to open all these manually, but Lazy Rit is not working right now, so we must stay! Wet. Boo, boo. Wet. Your ESO's been lagging? I'm gonna close ESO in a minute and see if it is ESO that's making my PC lag. But my FPS on Tuesday was awful. It was like wet claymation. Vuk <laughs> 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 ninja! Or just ninja. I don't know why I said Vuk. And that probably sounded like I saw, but I didn't. I was reading their name. I'm going to say Vuk ninja. This is why I just call you ninja. I don't know why I just said your whole name. This is exactly why I don't. Um, ninja, welcome out or welcome back to the offshore tea <laughs> suppliers. Enjoy your chat badge, your emotes, the ability to change room lights, and the ability to sell commands. All commands available to you are under exclamation mark commands. Enjoy. Thank you very, very much. You know all this. You've been here for heckin' many lovely months. Thank you for being being here. Thank you for the extra point towards the plus program as well. Woohoo! That's going to bring us, I think, to 90 points. I think if my maths is... Okay, my math probably isn't mathsing, but we had a tier three from Crimson. So that's six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine points. So that will bring us to uh, 89 points, I think. Uh, it doesn't update automatically. I'm really hoping that when the plus program gets officially announced, they're going to properly, um, they're going to properly sort that. So many ninjas on Twitch, you have to separate them somehow. I know, but I don't know what, I could call you underscore ninja. <laughs> I feel like as long as not all the ninjas are in the chat, I can just say ninja. But if they're all in the chat at the same time, oh my gosh. The Wi-Fi on this bus did not appreciate me running Twitch over it. Oh no, Dragon Mother, I'm sorry. I'm the Scottish Ninja. Scotland forever. Scotland forever. Scotland. Announce it by saying, hey, nerds, time to fall in for a community night. So get out of whatever else you're doing and get in here. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. Right. Listen here, folks. I think what I'm going to do is dump some stuff in my bank. And then we can <laughs> stackable treasure maps, please. Uh, and then we can sort our lives out a little bit. What does Speaking of do? sorting out our bags, if it means big thank you to Bethesda UK who set me up with Fallout first yesterday because I was moaning that I didn't have the new pig plushie and that I was constantly getting over cucumbered on Friday and they were like, we got you. I was like, yay! So I've got full at first now. Gonna go visit Sam today? No. <laughs> uh, no. 
I would love to, but no. Not today. I will eventually. Maybe. I also need to go back to Baldur's Gate. I also do need to get back to Baldur's Gate. Also, did you notice if you weren't here on Tuesday, we finally got them. We finally got them. And they were absolutely worth the pain. Are you looking at this? Are you seeing these shoulders? Oh, they're the best shoulders with these wings. Oh, it just, oh, it just, girl, look. Also, actually, let me show you one thing. Let me show you, let me show you, let me show you. You've got to see it on the loading screen. You've got to see it on the loading. Oh my goodness, this outfit on the loading screen. By the way, I'm not wearing my usual dress that I wear because I was doing trials yesterday. So I wanted to be in my battle outfit. Look. Stunning. I want this loading screen to stay forever and ever and ever and ever. I know that we can change the title music, but I don't know if we can change the loading screen. And this makes me want that because this is beautiful. Yeah, it took me, yeah, Fire Drake. It only took 10 years, but I got them. <laughs> no, I don't think, I don't know if Fire Drake came out when the game, I'd have to have a look when they were added to the game. The game's in its 10th anniversary. By the way, Amsterdam, like two weeks. Who am I seeing? I'm going to be there. Thank you to Bethesda UK for making that possible. Hashtag gifted. Um, hashtag travel paid for. Hashtag ad. Um, so who am I seeing? I'm so excited. I really hope I get to see some of you. And uh, if you can't make it, don't worry. You'll be there in my heart and in my spirit. You will. You will. You'll be there in my soul. Yeah, I'm so happy that I got my fire, Drake. I'm so happy. I've wanted these shoulders for literally, literal years. And I don't like grinding things, so I didn't grind Battlegrounds, but I've done my fair share of Battlegrounds, okay? And unfortunately, they never dropped. So, not me, because money, totally understand that. If it wasn't for the fact that Bethesda is shipping me out there, I probably wouldn't have been able to go. I'm not going to lie. Try and buy a house and stuff, you know, I roll her fire and all that. Although I did have to buy myself uh, an extra night in the hotel because I didn't want to miss any of the last day of the event. So I did have to fork out a little bit of money and it made me cry a little bit, but that's okay because I'm very, very grateful that the stuff that I did get was given because yeah, that, that, that made it very, very doable. Having to buy one extra night is not too upsetting. It's not too upsetting. I love that this is now the only live that pops on my TikTok now. Really, Dakota? Hello, how are you today? I hope you're glad because if you don't, I'll be sad, really. Having it in Amsterdam first kind of took the steam out of... Having it in Amsterdam first kind of took the steam out of me for anniversary events this year. What do you mean? What do you mean, sausage? Right, let me get this. I'm salty about it. Salty about... Salty about it being in Amsterdam? Why are you salty, why are you salty about it being in Amsterdam? I think it should have been here. What do you mean here? <laughs> In the States? Well, that's a little bit selfish. <laughs> you had the last two big events. You had the Necrom event and you had the Greymore event. The first ever event was Greymore. The first proper ESO event was the Greymore reveal and that was in Las Vegas. So, I mean, you can't have all of it. Also... Europe exists, and a lot of players play on EU. So give us a little bit of summon summon. Plus, there's a US event later in the year anyway, so calm down. <laughs> give us something, okay? It was nice to have something over this side of the pond. 
Do you know how long it took us to get QuakeCon EU when QuakeCon existed in the US for ages and now QuakeCon EU basically doesn't happen? <laughs> because of the pa Panini. We had one QuakeCon, then the Panini happened, that's it. They were like, it's online now. I really hope we go back to physical QuakeCons, but who knows? Who knows? Right, uh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? What do I what do I want to do? That's the question. Um I do need to do Necrom and we're so close to finishing, so I might do Necrom today. When was the last time a Quake game even released? Uh Quake Champions is still being updated quite often. I used to love Quake Champions. Yeah, but they were talking before they announced it where it was that they wanted to do it somewhere close to home so more of the devs could come and mingle, but then they run it around and have it in Amsterdam. Yeah, but there is gonna be there is gonna be another one. There's there's two big anniversary events. One's in the EU, one's in Europe, one's in the States. This is not the only one. It's the first one, but it's not the only one. There's going to be another one at the end of the year, and there's going to be loads of small anniversary events dotted around the UK. Yeah, in 2025 for the console release. There you go. See? I don't get the problem with it being in Amsterdam first. It's not like you're not getting an event. Do you know how many times there's an event in the US and we don't get one over here? And we just have to suck it up or pay tons and tons of money? I get, I can understand why you're upset. I would be upset too if it was the other way around. And I'm always upset because it's always the, literally always the other way around. Literally always the other way around. So I get it. I completely get it. But yeah. Well, even here, we have to pay tons of money. I, I Yeah. So how much do you reckon we have to pay <laughs> to get over there? Our trip to Europe is just a month and a half away. It's been like 15 years since we've been there. Yeah. Plus, it's nice to get here and stuff. But yeah, there, there is going to be there is going to be another event. And uh, there is going to be loads of local events for everyone as well. And as far as I know, the devs are going to be at the smaller ones. At least your local devs will be at the smaller ones. So there will still be opportunities to talk to developers and meet the people. Yeah, I, I get that it's frustrating, but you're, uh, yeah, I mean, you're preaching to the choir here. I get it because it's usually always the other way around, but I, um, yeah, I get it. But also consider how often events are in the US and not the UK. How, yeah, exactly. How long did it take us to get TwitchCon in the U EU? We just had to suck it up. Amsterdam is a pretty city. I will say it's quite expensive, but it's it's cool. There's a lot of events happening in Amsterdam this year. TwitchCon, MagicCon, ESO 10th. I don't know if Amsterdam's just like really good for venue prices or something. Shame the hotel prices aren't as good, but the venue prices must be good because everyone's doing events in Amsterdam this year. Do I want to do Necrom? I kind of want to snoop the group finder again, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of digging the group finder. Bruh. Is this the same person from the other day or is this someone new? Only the finest wares here. Asylum Sanctorium Normal. They've already got a healer. I mean, I've definitely done that on normal before. I usually don't suffer from FOMO, but with this, I just am, and I can't stop feeling that way. That's fine. I get it. It's hard not to get FOMO. I, I suffer badly with FOMO a lot. A lot. Last run, Fungal Grotto. Hey, someone actually doing the right thing instead of doing a random and dragging everyone else through with them. Wow. Wow. Right. If uh, if we're going to do Necrom, then we need to do... Mm, I don't know. 
Yes, I should do Necrom, shouldn't I? I've got two more side quests to do and then just main story. So I should do Necrom. I should do Necrom. And then we can get on with like Baldur's Gay and Starfield and enjoy Fallout Fridays without feeling guilty that I've still not finished Necrom and we're coming up to Gold Road. Ex-Timo! Hello, how are you today? I hope you're glad, because if you're not, I'll be sad. I just read your hair fry section was pretty similar to me and my missus. Good luck with it. No worries, Sausage, and good luck to you too. Thank you for having a read. I really appreciate you looking at, checking it out and reading it. Uh, that is very, very sweet of you. Thank you for taking the time. I always wonder if people bother reading those things when I spend ages writing them up. So it's good to know that they are, they are read and they are taken note of. Good to know. Did I... Actually, real quick... Did I? I? I like going to this one because I like this outfit style. Hi, I read it and I was like, this is me. Yeah, we're close. We're close. We we just got to find the right place and, you know, you know, get get everything sorted and all that. So we're, we're close. It's just trying to find the right place at the right price in such a small budget, you know, which... In this world, the budget is a mess. Yeah. I think that's the thing. And also, I have to take a lot of things into account, like neighbours with my job, things like that. So semi-detached or de detached is really the ideal thing, which is making it even more difficult. I don't really want to upset my neighbours. <laughs> I don't want to upset my neighbours, you know. Okay, I didn't change it. I don't know if I should... I don't like that now. It needs to be the other... Yeah, it needs to be the other way for this one. Yeah. Then again, this one might need to be the other way too. Yeah, I like... I think this one the other way too. No. No, 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 no. Other way. Other way. Just wanted to quickly change that. I decided to take the plunge and rent a place where she is from because two hours apart was too much. I get that. Yeah, two hours. We're one hour and that's enough. So two hours is a bit painful. Uh, we were going to do that. But when we're sort of in, our, in my eyes, I said, we'll do what we're doing. We've been together seven years in October. But the plan, is, the plan was to do what, carry on doing what we're doing and uh, save up for... A buying a house because when you're renting obviously you can't save that money as a, as a house deposit because you're renting it but again everybody's situation is different and for me badgers and i plan on staying in this house for a long time so it's not i, I feel like renting for us would be such a waste of time because we're not planning on moving around a lot yeah it's it's everybody's situation is different and also the patience and the ability having parents that are happy for you to stay at home i'm 30 years old you know uh I've, i'm very fortunate that both of our parents we're both 30 we're very fortunate that both of our parents are happy to have us stay at home and can't continue saving and my parents ask for very little money each month for food so i'm very very lucky very very lucky Landlords should get a real job, right? There's actually some laws coming into place in the UK that are kind of shaking up the rental market, and it's very interesting to see the, the what comes out of it. It's very interesting, very interesting. It's um, I think it's something that needs to happen. Honestly, I'm fortunate too about my parents allowing me to still be at home too. Yeah, I'm very, very fortunate, and I will never take that for granted. Like. Being able to stay at home and save up money to buy my own house has been... Honestly, I, I wouldn't have been able to do it. If I was renting or something, there's absolutely no way I would have saved up what we have saved up for a house. And the market's a mess right now. But yeah, seven years together, we finally decided that uh, we think we have enough and we're going to start doing it. So... Yeah, the past year we've been looking at houses, sort of talk, uh, hiring mortgage brokers, doing it. Spooky, spooky.
Uh, Apologise if I'm being thick, but is there an Amazon link to shop on the entire site with an affiliate link? I'm going to get a new Xbox controller on it. Uh, Dragon, if you let me know what one to add, I can add it and then you can grab it from there. But I think when you go to my link, if you add anything from the basket and then check out, it will count for whatever you've purchased in that basket. But I don't know. I need to look into it. My dad said I don't need to leave, but I just felt like I needed to. Yeah, honestly... I feel like Badger's needed to have his own house a long time ago because he is um he he's he's someone that needs his own space and stuff and I I feel like we maybe did leave it a bit too long cuz he's starting to get very frustrated but uh you know I'm a very particular person when it comes to money <laughs> and I was like no we are both going to save and we will get what we want because I'm not throwing money towards someone else that doesn't deserve my money. <laughs> uh, depending on where you live and how often you move, renting could be better financially. Yeah, that's what I said. So Badgers and I are not planning to move around a lot. So for us, renting didn't make any sense. We plan on staying put for a while. And for me, it's an office as well. So I mean, it's an investment. Apologize, uh, but yeah. Oh, I will send it in the supplies. Yes, please do. Where we live, a similar sized condo would cost at least 30 to 40% more a month and take a massive amount of our savings for a down payment. Mm -hmm. That, honestly, the deposit is what slips most people up with a house. Um, because when you're paying deposit on rent, you're not paying as much as you would a house. Like, with a house deposit in the UK, most places are asking at minimum 10% deposit. But most of most banks are not accepting mortgages unless you have a 25% deposit to loan ratio now, which is insane. It's insane. It's made it so much harder, which is why we said stop. we were going to do this a couple stop, of years stop, ago, stop, but we just couldn't stop, do it. Stop, 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 stop. stop. I've sacrificed a lot of things, a lot of events, a lot of treats. Um, so hopefully it'll be worth it. <laughs> the money we save on a mortgage can be invested and gain more than even the current interest rates. Mm, invest, in, inve investing is not for everyone, and it's not a guaranteed all. So I feel if if, if you, if any of you, obviously not talking to you, Sonny, if any of you are interested in investments, please talk to a financial advisor and get advice on it. A lot of people are talking about investments right now, and I'm telling you, it is not as simple as these websites are, t are saying it is. Investments are a risk. It is a gamble. You are investing in something. You can, you, can you can lose money, you can gain money. So don't listen to all these apps and stuff out there that are saying investment pays, blah, blah, blah. It's a risk. Doesn't tell. It doesn't matter if it says in big block letters, there is no risk. There is always a risk with investment. There's always a risk with holding money in a bank and getting insurance. Uh, not insurance, uh, interest. Everything has its own risk. So please look into things. I've seen a lot of people jumping on the investment wagon and not actually doing their research. So please just know that yes, it can work and it does work for a lot of people, but it has a lot of risks. I'm just going to put that out there. I know that that's not information that you need, Sunny, because you've got Miss Sunny and she's on top of it and she knows what she's doing. But a lot of people will see that and go, oh, yeah, that's a good point. I was meant to look into that. I'm just telling you, as someone that knows a lot of financial advisors, it is hard. The only thing I think I've done with my... Mo oh, gosh, don't talk to me about the help to buy ISA, Tomo. I have a help to buy ISA. I can't use it. Because every single house in my area is no longer below 250000 which was the limit for the government bonus. So I'm livid that they haven't changed that. If you're in London, you get 400000 limit. 250000 limit is for uh, a, the rest of the UK. The average house price in the whole of the UK is above 200000 250000 now. So the fact that they've just let the help to buy ISA rot... And they're not updating it. It makes me so sad because obviously I'm not. I'm. I'm skipping. Ha I'm skipping flat. I've stayed at home and saved up money so I can skip the flat and go straight to a house because of my job. I don't really need neighbors top, bottom, left, right, round everywhere because they'll hate me. They'll hate me for what I do. <laughs> um, 
and it will limit what I can do with my job. But yeah, so I purposely suffered so I could skip that, but yeah. I despise the TikTok. Totally not a non-disclosed sponsored ad for like investing, gambling, grifter stuff. Like, please, why are you showing me this? Yeah. But no, they helped to buy ISA. Really fantastic idea. It's just annoying that they made, they set it up, what, like 14 years ago or 15 years ago and haven't updated the price limit for the houses. The housing market has like gone crazy since 15 years ago. Why are they not changing it? Because they don't want to give us the money, that's why. They, they realised it was a stupid idea. For those that don't know, the Help to Buy ISA was an ISA in the UK where you put uh, £1,200 in it and then you can put £200 in it per month. You're limited every month because the interest rate on it was pretty good. It's actually, there's actually a lot of savings accounts now that have a better interest rate than the Help to Buy ISA. But basically you save up £200 a month you get really good you had really good interest on it and at the end when you use it to buy a house the government will give you an extra 25 percent up to three thousand pound towards your first house but there was a massive catch that they didn't ever talk about until it was a bit too late it had to be a property under two hundred fifty thousand pound or four hundred thousand pound if you're in london which was great 15 years ago 15 years ago, that made sense. Doesn't make sense anymore. Doesn't make sense anymore. House prices are not that. I have looked at houses that were £250,000 for a literal shed. You can buy a log cabin for that. Like, not, not an... And it's helped to buy ISA to buy your first house. No, that will buy you a, a cardboard box. One of Scrat's cardboard boxes that he stole from the merchant. Hi, right, so if you save 12k, you get 15k back as long as the property is under 250k. Yep. Unfortunately, I'm not the only person that has realised that they're not going to get that extra money. The good news is all of the interest in the help to buy ISA is uh, tax free. So you, it's it's completely tax free. So that's the that was another benefit of the help to buy ISA, but... Yeah, that, the help to buy ISA, it, it makes me mad that I'm, I'm missing out on an extra couple of quid because of flipping rules that should have been updated and i heard a i heard a rule i heard a theory that they were going to talk about it at the april uh, in the uh may the march spring budget and when they didn't talk about it i was like oh for flip's sake and i guarantee you what's going to happen we're going to buy a house and then they're going to change it and I don't know if I'm going to be able to backtrack it and be like, yo, government, can I have this for my furnishing, please? Oh, absolutely. I had, I, I have, I have family in up to Yorkshire and um, yeah, the house prices up there are crazy good, but I'm such a home bug. My parents are here. My grandparents are here where I am. Uh, everyone I know and love is here. So it's like, yeah, it's just, it's just, I, I just, no, no, I can't do it. I wish I could, because I could have so much more of a luxurious lifestyle with my budget if I went up to north. Um, uh, but no, I can't, I can't. I'm such a home bug. I'm such a home bug. Plus, can you imagine me moving up to north with my, my accent? <laughs> It'd be like, oi, these saveners. <laughs> from the south of the country. Houses in this whole country are not the maximum. They say it has to be now. The, the ha houses in this whole country is not the maximum. They say it has to be now with huge inflation from the panini and all sorts. Mm-hmm. You're saying that to a scouser? True. True. Oh gosh, I bet they were like, oh gosh, what are you saying? <laughs> Leave it up here. <laughs> What did you say? You need a poo. <laughs> you don't want to live in the dales or creatures great and small and all that. The dales? No. I need to do an entrance and we're going to start doing some Necrom story, folks. We're going to do a little VOD entrance. And then we'll get on with some Necrom. And for those that don't know, every time I do a story in the Elder Scrolls Online, I do all the voices for my character so even if you've done these stories before hopefully they'll bring a bit of newness to it for you 
Yeah, this disaster of housing has been like four years in the making and now it's impossible to fix with the most councils almost broke. Yeah. I think it's... If I don't see it even leveling out. That being said, house prices have always risen. Wages will always rise. It's, 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 I don't know. It's, how do you, how do you, this is why economies are a bit of a, like, maybe it was best when we were just, you know, hunting for things and growing crops <laughs> before we made money. <laughs> economies are like destined to break. I've, I mean, we've all played games where it's like micromanagement and the economy always busts. At least we can all cry with a roof over our heads somewhere. Well, unfortunately, a lot of people can't. Uh, homelessness in the UK and most countries is at an all-time worse, and that's the more that's an even more depressing part of it. I'm moaning, but at least I have an opportunity to buy a small two-bedroom house. There's a lot of people out there that don't have that luxury, that are sleeping on the streets. Um, we have raised money for... Uh, um, a few homeless charities here on this channel. So it is something that I do try and address. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this is, a, this is a very sensitive subject for me right now. And although it is important, uh, there's also a lot of stress that comes with it. So if you don't mind, I'm going to play some video game. <laughs> uh, right. Hello and welcome back to the realm of insanity. I'm your queen, K Power XC, and we're back, T Storians, with some Elder Scrolls Online. We're going to be continuing the Necrom storyline today. Going to do some side quests, and then it's pretty much public dungeon. Focus on main story. We're nearly done. Uh, for those that don't know, whenever I play a story in ESO, I voice my character. So if you have done these quests, uh, I try and put all the quest names in the description. If you're watching on YouTube uh, when the VOD goes out. I've, I've been trying to put all the quest names in there so that when people Google the quests, if they get stuck, hopefully I can help them through it. Sometimes you need someone's help. Uh, the amount of times I've Googled a quest when I've got stuck. Anyway, uh, basically, hopefully it brings something new and shiny to the game, even if you've done all these side quests before. So we're going to go pick up this quest over here because it's a, I think this is going to be a side quest. <gasps> Kitty! Ah, an adventurer. Would you spare a moment for a cipher in need? Oh, hello! I'm gonna drink my tea while we do this. Thank the fathoms. My name is Cypher Who's Margo, and I watch over the nearby rectory Corporea. I am in desperate need of an adventurer who can help me re-establish order here. The chorus is in disharmony, you see. Watch us whiskers, what will we do? Slow down. What is going on? The rectory houses one of Hermaeus Mora's most prized magical apparatus. Sorry, the The vessels that comprise it suddenly began to fail, and now the whole thing risks collapse. Whose Marco knows not how or why. Nor why. Nor why. He needs help. I'm having a flashback to a conversation we had earlier in the stream. How can Coriel help? The faulty vessels destabilize the entire apparatus, dislodging focus crystals, warping valves, and prompting leaks throughout the system. Whose Margo needs someone to protect his backside and make repairs. Hello? You would take Nerni Gold as payment, yes? Yeah? you? Bandit? I didn't know you was in the shark bed. Yes, Coriel will help you repair the rectory. First, we need to reset the magic uh, focus oh, in the Corporea Secretus, an outbuilding to the northeast. Tide King willing, that will reduce the instability. I only hope we're not too late. The chorus cannot endure these conditions for long. Roxy, hello, how are you today? I hope you're glad, because if you don't, I'll be sad. Hello, you just got Necrom and you're stoked. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for you. Enjoy Necrom. That is the second time you have mentioned a chorus. What is that? The chorus? It's the whole reason this place exists. 
directory, I mean, not uh, apocrypha. But what is it? Hmm. How to explain it? It is the combined output of all the rectory's vessels. A powerful, decentralized entity. And what does this entity do? It dreams of things. Teaches us things. Honestly, it will be easier to explain once you see how it works. You have questions, I know. But trust who's Marco. It will all make sense soon. You said it was dangerous. What will we face in the rectory? Well, danger comes in many forms, yes? Depending on the severity of the leaks, we may face arcane anomalies, bursts of uh, raw magicka, or even structural instability. Then there's the arcanovores. Arcanovores? Yes, yes, beasts that consume magicka. Surely you have these on Nermi. Dremnikin? Irksome little tome shells? No? Yes? These folk, they are so annoying. Anyway, many of these beasts stalk the grounds now. No, just no. called it Nerni. Very scary. I want to call it Nerni from now on. That is so cute. Do you think they have caused any damage to the rectory? <laughs> Whatever I cannot doing, believe this is after the conversation we had earlier matters. and what happened to me earlier. What do you do here exactly? Who? Who's Marco? Oh, I am just one of the Tide King's many, many servants. I oversee the rectory's facilities, and monitor the vessels, clean the instruments. I don't know why I so just on. laughed like a Not duck. <laughs> busy, busy. Until something like this happens. Please, answer this one. How did you wind up in Apocrypha? The same as you, I expect. Who's Marco read many, many books. The Sermons of Amandro, of course. Uh, but also the Rites of Sanjin, Noctara's Hissing Codex, that sort of thing. <laughs> what can Who's Marco say? He's a bookworm, yes. And one of the books sent you here? Oh, yes, Hermora's Tome of Tides, whose Marco can still see the cover when he closes his eyes. Moist, supple, constantly leaking ink and foam, a beautiful thing. A few nightmares, uh, hallucinations, extra limbs, va va va, you know how these things are. Va va So, you became a cultist as soon as you arrived? Who's Margot does not like this word, cultist? But yes, it did not take long before I became a cipher. And I've seldom had cause to regret it. That hood is so cute. I need it for Kajashi so bad. Right. Let's go. Yes, we are in Apocrypha right now, which is part of Necrom, the most recent chapter. We do have Necrom codes to give away when we reach our goals, so if you're, if you're interested in that, keep an eye out. Wow. Ah! I need to eat some food. Ah! Oh my god, you scared me! <gasps> Ember! Scared me, Ember. Disaster. Oh dear. Whose Margo hopes the vessels remain intact. I should switch to my damage dealing setup. We're the best. So we can get through this a little bit quicker. Shorts. Oh, before I do, before. Oh, now, before I do. Ah! Before I do, CP points. Ah! Uh, dunk. Uh, dump. And where was I putting points in this one? I think I was just putting them randomly somewhere. Oh, dunk. And I guess.
Um, I guess I'll just plop it in here for now. And then we shall shave this. I can think of 18. We shall shave this in my healer field. Unlock, save that. Okay. And then lock it again. And then I'm going to equip this one. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Let's get Ember back. Comes Margo is keeping a close eye on her. Oh, you missed me. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, look! There's a lurker! This is a perfect opportunity for me to say thank you to all the lurkers in chat for hanging out with me today. You can enjoy your day. You don't have to type. You don't have to talk. Just know that I really appreciate you. I can't see you. I don't have names when I'm uh, open when I'm chat on, on stream. So don't worry. I'm not calling anyone out. But I just want to say I appreciate you. Whether you're lurking on TikTok, Twitch, YouTube, wherever you are. Whether you don't comment anywhere, whatever you're doing, as long as you're supporting me right now, you are very saucy, and I appreciate you so, so, so much. Thank and I'm sorry that I just murdered you. The vessels in this room seem largely intact. Thy king be praised. It seems the beasts did not breach the secretists completely, and the vessels are in good health. Resetting the focus should bring them back into harmony with the rest of the Rectory's occupants. Wait, what are all these bodies doing here? Bodies? What? Are... Oh, you mean the vessels? I forget that non-ciphers get a little confused when they come here. Let me take a few steps back. Welcome to the Rectory Corporea, Hermes Mora's Library of Minds. Please. Tell Gajit, a library of minds? Yes. Well, mostly. It's not the most exact metaphor, but the broad strokes are apt. <laughs> the vessels have their minds joined together in service to Hermaeus Mora. Sounds like the circle of secrecy! ...thinks and dreams, and my master listens. They are prisoners, yes? What? No, 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 no. Every vessel here willingly entered a pact with their Sounds mentor. like the circle of they secrecy. Their bodies and minds to the rectory for a fixed period of time. In the end, they will receive, well, whatever it is they wanted from the eye. As it sees. So the rectory is the circle of secrecy. Okay. What's happening to that vessel? Quickly, reset the magical focus. We shouldn't wait to reset the focus. Another failed body. I will be free. Watchers, whiskers. What was that? I've been tending to the vessels in the Corporea for many, many years, and never before have I seen a thing like what just happened. That vessel, it just talked to us. It moved. That should not be possible. What do these bodies normally do? Well, normally, they just lie there. The Rectory's magic keeps the vessels healthy while their minds serve the chorus. The they don't just get up and say scary things before keeling over. Wait, this vessel is dead? Oh no! The vessels die if they try to break free, yes? They never try to break free. But if they did, I suppose it is possible. Even the gradual extraction can cause stress, nosebleeds, seizures. But something the vessel said. Another failed body. Those were its words, remember? Yes. He spoke about his body like it didn't belong to him. Precisely. This worries who's Margo the most. Something may be toying with the vessels in the rectory and mm. killing them in the process. 
But Husmarco doesn't know what could do such a thing. We should check the rectory archives. They are just next door. All right. Let us go investigate the rectory archives. Yes? Let's go to the rectory. I know, because in their little eye, their little, little ear pockets. Hi, Hermie. How you doing? Hey. I know you're watching. Keeping an eye on us. Hermie boy. Oh, Hermie boy. We are going fast, yes. Whoa. Hi, Hermie. Hi. Hello, Hermie. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Doji! Hello, how are you today? I hope you're glad, because if you don't, I'll be sad. Hello, how you doing? Uzmargo will start with these manuals. You will check the other tomes, yes? Look for anything on vessel disturbances. Routine inspection of the rectory. New vessels show little issue integrating into the chorus. Several have been released per the terms of their pacts. I want to ask them about their time in the chorus, but it isn't my place. Cypher Bomfis's condition continues to worsen. Believing death to be in in imminent, he has increased the vigor of his instruction on the history and nature of the chorus. Today covered the nature of how to access the and interact with the chorus. Bonifsi likened it to a garden surrounded by a wall of infinite height. Hermes Moira shares himself with those within the garden. No force can break through the wall or scale it. The only way into the garden is through the magic and artifi artifice of the rectory. Old cipher Benifsi loves his fables. The following is a transcription of a conversation between an Argonian about to enter the chorus and their handler, Cypher Vili, sleeps fitfully. It won't hurt. It won't hurt, will it? Cypher Vili. As I understand it, entering the chorus is akin to going to sleep. And what is it like while I've been there? The chorus is a place where the minds and voices of all those who agree to Hermaeus Moira's experiment are joined. A vision that is shared, so to speak. So, nothing bad could happen to me in there? Of course not. Your mind is safe while in the chorus, and your body remains here tended by myself and the other ciphers for the duration of your stay. Finished reading? Let's talk. Sis on these archives, whose Margo doesn't see anything useful in these books. Did you have better luck? Tell whose Margo what you learned from yours. Anything that would explain what's happening to the vessels. Why some move and speak. One of the books spoke of the chorus as a shared vision. Yes, yes. Some say it is like a dream world where the minds of all in the chorus can wander freely, interacting with one another while the Great Eye studies them. What else did you learn? Apparently, outside forces cannot affect the chorus. At least that narrows the scope of our research. The disturbance must originate from within the rectory, or even the chorus itself. Press on to the Esoterica Corporea to the north. It houses our preparatory instruments and an auxiliary somnambulum. An auxiliary what? Somnambulum, one of the devices that grants entry to the chorus, sustains the vessel, and so on. 
Examining one might provide us with some clues without disturbing the other vessels. Or without disturbing them more, at any rate. I'll meet you there. All right. Goriel will meet you in the Esto... Esoterca Coporia. Osmargo that was a hard one to say. Bit more here. Go that was a difficult one, that was. With you. Tell Goriel, what is the Estoki... Es Esoterca Coporia? The Esoterica Corporea. Esoterica Corporea. <laughs> minds joining our chorus. <laughs> An important process where any slight mistake could irrevocably harm one's mind. Please indulge this one. How long do minds stay in the chorus? It depends entirely on their contract. Some may spend their entire lives as part of the chorus in exchange for a promised fortune or magical knowledge. Others may only spend a few winters, but I assure you, each mind is as important as the last. Got it. Got it, boss. Oh, go upstairs. Boo. Boo. Hi, Shade. How are you today? I hope you're glad, because if you don't, I'll be sad. How you doing? Yeah, I like to read all my character. I like to read all my character shindigs. And uh, I also like to read all the uh, letters and stuff in different voices. Because if you've all done these quests before, I want to make them a little bit different. A little bit interesting and immerse you in the story as best I can. And I do enjoy doing it. I really enjoy putting different voices to different characters. Uh, voice acting is something that I have looked into. I was mentored for it as part of Limit Break last year. The vessels arrive like worms on a hook. Like before. Reset the focus. I will get out! There! Another one speaks. Oh. Yeah. I think I understand. Another Coral Mind awakening. But that voice... Quickly, reset the focus. I have an idea. After witnessing that vessel speak, I fear I now understand the source of our problem. It seems a rogue mind is traveling through and tapping. Hey, can you speak with, with a little Argonian accent? The crisis. Oh, I just did. Or I just read an Argonian, but I can do it again. Moist scales, friend. Hello. <laughs> I am just a simple Argonian. This was the voice that I used for my Argonian, and their name was, uh, Sips. That say sweet tea. I can't quite remember their name, but uh, they had very moist scales, and I played them in a D and D campaign, and they were very socially anxious and very shy. They spent a lot of time with the hist, but um, they had to go save the world, so it was quite uh, strange. <laughs> <laughs> but moist scales, friend. Uh, this uh, so this sick. little so Argonian sick. hopes you have a great so day. Sick. Oh so my sick. goodness, thank you very so much sick. for so the uh, so subscription. So 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 oh, so that was her name. She was Sing Sweet Tea. Because <laughs> it was for... It was for a charity campaign. It was for charity, and Chat was able to donate and help and make the hiss strengthen inside her. Thank you very much for the resubscription. I really appreciate it. Welcome and or welcome back to the offshore tea suppliers. <laughs> May your scales be moist, friend. Thank you very much for the three month subscription. I really, really, really appreciate it. Welcome and welcome back to the offshore tea supplies. Enjoy your chat badge, your emotes, the ability to change the room lights, and the ability to use sound commands. And the commands available to you are underneath exclamation mark commands. Enjoy. Thank you very, very much. 
Yeah, that was the specific Argonian voice that I had for a character that I played in a charity D&D campaign. She was Sing Sweet Sing Sweet Tea. She was a bright throat Argonian. I painted myself for her, like made a feather bonnet thing for like her hair. And it was super, super fun. I believe you can still find the VOD on Ophelia's channel if you wanted to go watch it. Uh, that was her, I absolutely, she was one of my favorite one shot D and D characters I've ever made. Well, I say she, they, uh, she went by a she, they, and he, they were a uh, non-binary Argonian and, um, they were socially anxious and just really bad in social situations. And some of the situations she got her, that they got her, themselves in was so funny. <laughs> they reminded me more of my ex-wife, Lusty Argonia, made from Skyrim. Unfortunately, I killed her by mistake. Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> anyway, back to this. Back to the Khajiit. Let me take some water, because the, Ar the Argonian voice definitely hurts my throat a little bit. <laughs> Ahem. <clears throat> A rogue mind? Yes, a troublemaker. Disconnected <laughs> from the chorus. It keeps trying to escape through a connected body, but the attempts prove fatal every time. Out here in Apocrypha, we have no hope of isolating it. But if one of us entered the chorus... One of us? Well, you. Obviously. Right. Whose Marco must oversee the procedure and monitor the apparatus, yes. I would not suggest it if we had any other way of finding the rogue mind. But every moment we delay puts another vessel at risk. So, will you do it? All right. Coriel will enter the chorus and look for the rogue mind. Ah, yes. Wisdom and bravery. You are a true child of Mora. Let's proceed to the next room. The auxiliary Samnam. Kajashi would be there. proud. It will allow you to enter the chorus, but you will not travel alone. Whose Margo will guide you from here? Let's go, Bobby Girl. <laughs> Hey chat, are you part of our Discord? Because if you're not, you should be. There. And have you checked out Sprites? How Do you like my top? You? Do you like this little creature on my top? Uh, we have Kitty, we have Frob, we have Mootby, and we have Reggie. Show your love for your favourite Spiteys in chat. Uh, they are our mythical and cryptic creatures from the realm of insanity with each different traits and personalities. Let me know if you read the, the traits and personalities on the website. Let me know if you relate to any of them. Because so far, there's only four of them, but most people relate to one. There will be more discovered. A spritey has been discovered! Sorry. <laughs> the TikTok went in my brain, I'm afraid. TikTok infected my brain for a second there. That was a very niche reference. There you are. I pray this isn't too disorienting. Let's discuss our next move. Hmm. Welcome to the chorus, or its lowest levels at any rate. We call this the cognitive substrate. Few members of the chorus visit this place, but it connects to all the chorus's other regions. The perfect hiding place for a rogue mind, yes? So, sorry, by the way, how are you today? Hope you're glad, because if you're not, I'll be sad. Hello? How are we going to find him? To enter the chorus, every vessel signs a pact. You think of flimsy parchment contracts, yes? Not so in Apocrypha. It is an anchor that binds the vessel's mind. No one can travel far from their pact, and Uzmargo has a spell that can sniff it out. Finding this pact will lead us to the rogue mind? At the very least, it will tell us who the mind belongs to. I do not know what shape the spell will take inside the chorus. Each vessel's perception of the space is unique. 
but it should be easy enough to manipulate and follow. All right. Let us give it a try. Right. Whee! I get to chase a shiny ball. The chorus's mind sentinels will see you as an intruder. Stand ready. Not if they don't see me. <laughs> Not if they don't see me at all. <laughs> I'll bugger it. It's okay, I got away with it. Oh, the little bugs. Can I squish them? Oh. I don't think I'll get past the seeker. The watcher, sorry. Oh no, I did. I got past the watcher. Man, I love being a vampire. Oh. There. This is our pact, yes? Have a look. Pact of the Daggerfall Devil. Of course, it's the Daggerfall. Of course. Stinky blueberries. In the uh, third hour of the seventh day, on the last month in the year of mortal reckoning, 2E455, does the abyssal cephalarch, the gardener of men, knowing and willfully form a pact with the mortal known as the Daggerfall Devil? Knowing the Daggerfall Devil has claimed the lives of dozens of innocents and is due to be executed in the city of Daggerfall for his crimes, Hermaeus Moira offers him sanctuary. In return, the Daggerfall Devil will commit his mind to the chorus and his body to the rectory corpia. Corp flip it. For an eternal, for an interval of 500 mortal years. Should he accept, the Daggerfall Devil will be swiftly spared from ex execution and placed beyond the grasp of his pursuers. The Daggerfall Devil? The Daggerfall Devil? Watcher spare us! On the one claw, it makes sense that a serial killer in the chorus would be the cause of our troubles. On the other, there is a serial killer in the chorus. And it appears that he wants out. So, if we deal with this Daggerfall Devil, the Rectory will stabilize? Yes. Yes. But dealing with him means killing him. A task that is a little more Wee. difficult than just stabbing his cold manifestation. Uzmargo would need to make sure the Daggerfall Devil couldn't flee to another body and hide. It can do that, yes? Uzmargo thinks so, but we will need to act at the same time, like two claws pinching a well-oiled grape. Uzmargo will need to leave you to find the body while you find the mind. The pact, thankfully, provides us with some inkling of where to look. Tell Goriel how to find the Daggerfall Devil's mind. Leaping into other people's bodies may have caused some mnemonic bleed. Elements of his psyche, memories, could have broken loose. I'll tune the spell to seek out his memories. If you can find enough of them, it should lead us to his mind's core. Let us find these memories. Best of luck to both of us. These are my favourite kind of quests, where I follow a little a little glowy ball, a little laser pen. Wee! I love me a little laser pen! Wee! 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 Chompy's bone? The first <laughs> life I <laughs> took. <laughs> Scrawny <laughs> beast. <laughs> Loved by the child <laughs> next door. <laughs> See the boy cry <laughs> made <laughs> me <laughs> smile. Looks like you are having fun. Thank you so, so much for the resubscription. I really, really appreciate it. At 2-2 nonetheless. Enjoy your 
Silver Star, welcome and or welcome back to the Upshaw Tea Suppliers. <laughs> Enjoy your chat bar, your emotes, your ability to change the room lights and the ability to sell commands or commands available to you are run the deep exclamation mark commands. Enjoy. And that is another two points towards the plus program. Thank you so much to everyone who's helping towards the plus program. We did hit 100 points last month. Uh, so if we hit 100 points again this month, we will get that here uh we, well we got one more month and then we get the 60 40 subs there, which will be so so helpful so thank you so much eventually i'd love to get to the 70 30 sub split but that's 300 points that's a little bit away <laughs> uh don't think we're anywhere near that it's like we're struggling to get 100 but we get we, we did get there we did get there but thank you so so much to everyone who has upgraded their subs or become paid subscriptions these past uh couple of months and especially those that have bought themselves uh subs in advance for the three months because it really helps and also you do get 10 percent off if you buy three months in advance and if you buy six months in advance you get 15 percent off your subs so do check that out uh, and I think I get the same amount regardless of if you do the discount. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. But yeah. Thank you very much to everyone who has uh, put their little stuff in the pot. Also, I just realized, you know, when you're tier two and tier three, you get a silver badge on your on your badge or a gold badge on your badge. And it's literally a gold star. Please remind me the next time I sass someone and go, what, do you want a medal? Because I'm going to say, what, do you want a medal? You can get a gold star if you become a tier three getting that bag and sassing the plebs you know remind me next time mods remind me remind me about the gold star and the tier three i think that'd be funny future me better do that sass <laughs> you know how many times in chat do i sass someone going what do you want a gold star or something hey You can become a tier three subscriber and get a gold star. <laughs> I think that'd be funny. Future me's finding it really funny when she says it. I can see the future right now. The mouldering cot. Oh, Han, hello, how are you? Have you to my know? basement to wandering souls, only to take their lives while they slept. Ew, you nasty. Creep. Creepy boy. Uh oh. Uh oh. Being a vampire makes quests like this way way easier. <laughs> Not that I'm I wouldn't struggle to kill all these things. It's just so much quicker for me to just enjoy the story. <laughs> I could easily kill them. My father's knife, a handle carved from an antler. A blade sharp enough to cut bone. An artist never had a brush so delicate. Can you hear who's Margot, friend? Who's Margot isolated the rogue mine's vessel? You should be able to dispatch him now. What? You want a gold star? Well, funny story about that. Just a reminder that when I say remind me, that doesn't mean you at the trolls and say it. I will say that right now. It doesn't matter how much of a fa like a flap someone is being in chat. We don't do dog pilot. Oh my god, look at the little glowy tome shell. I want this as a pet. I want a glowy tome shell. Um, it doesn't matter how horrible someone is being in chat, we don't dogpile. For those who don't know what dogpiling means, it means instead of leaving it to the mods and the streamer to sass them, everybody jumps on them. And that's never a nice feeling and it just makes people really uncomfortable. So just a reminder to remind me about the gold star thing, but don't start doing it yourselves because it's funny when I sass someone that's being rude to me um, and like make a joke out of it and make it a bit of a meme, but... We, I don't want to make people uncomfortable. Even if they're making me uncomfortable, my plan is not to make them feel bullied and kicked out, you know? Unless it's a bannable offence, then we just ban them. Uh, but I don't I don't like bullying. So, uh, to me, dogpiling is bullying. And you fight fire with fire, you're just going to get more fire. So, that's how I feel about that. Oh, hello, Daggerfall Devil. Time you went away. I'm not stopping. You're weak like all the rest. Oh, hello. Where'd you go, Daggerfall Devil? Amazing. Oh, there you are. You're not the first to try and stop me. I don't think he's supposed to be here because my marker's over there. This 
will not be my end! Oh! He's one angry blueberry, he is. He's one angry blueberry. Ah. Ooh. Ah. You did it! I see no trace of the Daggerfall Devil in the registry. Oh, now, look! Return to They're so cute! These little guys! The little glowy tome shells are so cute! One angry little blueberry. One angry little blueberry. Guess I better go back into my body, although I'm quite enjoying hanging out with Hermie Boy, to be honest. Maybe I'll just stay in there. I reckon Hermie would give me unlim unlimited tea. What do you reckon? I think he'd be chill with that. He'll be like, yeah, make a pact with me for unlimited Yorkshire tea. Deal. Take my soul, Hermaeus Moira. My brain is definitely an interesting place. I'll tell you that. He'd be very intrigued. <laughs> I feel like that's a, a lot of people would want to go inside my brain. Brain go. Wow, this is a pretty place. Ah, fresh air. Better, yes? According to my instruments, you made it out of the chorus with nearly a scratch on your psyche. How are your memories? Any confusion? Dizzy? Oh yeah, it'd have to be Yorkshire gold. Good. So, the chorus is safe now? Safe from immediate danger, yes. But stress levels among the vessels are still far too high. I must inspect each mind and vessel to ensure their well-being. You have a strong mind. If you have the time, I would certainly enjoy studying it. I would actually help him, but I can't. Oh, no, Kajita. Kajit have things to do, yes? Of course, of course. Whose Margo is sure our prince has plans for you beyond the Rectory Corporea. But do keep the offer in mind. You did a great service for us, friend. I suppose the time has come for payment, yes? Thank. Perhaps one day you'll hear the harmonious songs of the chorus. But for now, know that all the minds housed within the rectory are grateful for your help. As am I. Our prince will be happy to hear of your involvement. It's a shame you can't stay. To study a mind as unswayable as your own would truly be a pleasure. Think about it. Farewell. What will you do now? Whose Margo supposes a fair amount of cleaning and vessel repair. But don't worry. It won't be long before Cyphers hear of your success and return to the rectory. Once I have a team together, I'll be sure to tend to our surviving minds. Well, I think this is the perfect spot for a, a juggle break. How about you think? A boogie break. What do you think, hey? Perfect little spot. We can look out here with, with Ember. It'll be great. It'll be great. Uh, right, so. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to stretch. I'm going to take my eyes away from the screen. And I'm going to have a quick break. But do not panic because there are things for you to do while I'm away. 
You can play the fishing game with your channel points that's only available when I'm starting soon or be right backing. You can go check out my socials. Go watch my video that I post on all my platforms every day that I go live. Go check out Sprites, the mythical and cryptic creatures of the realm of insanity. Please show your Sprites in chat if you're a subscriber. We've got Sprites emotes now and stickers if you want to put those on the screen. Or if you don't want to fish, you can play words. Uh, I'll be right back, but pl please do take this opportunity to stretch. Take your eyes over the screen. Have a little bit of a break. I'll see you in a bit. I'm really sorry, this just isn't working anymore. Really? Yeah, you'll thank me eventually. You'll be fine, you just need a cup of tea. What? Shh. A graze or minor injury. There's tea. There's tea. You took an arrow to the knee. Have tea. Oh, tea. Even winners of the Monaco Grand Prix drink tea Hardest drunk by the bourgeoisie, probably Likely change the course of history, lovely cup of tea When Monday leaves you feeling blue And your boss has a rage that you can't subdue you likely see Your legs trapped underneath debris There's tea, there's tea You feel a burning when you pee Have tea, oh tea Been sanctioned for insanity More British than the Jubilee I even heard it made a blind man see Lovely cup of tea
I'm back on the stream. No more fishing. You have to wait until the next spirit back break. I'm sorry that I forgot to turn it on. Um, my bad. <laughs> oh, my bad. Um, I knew I'd forget if if I didn't get reminded. So it's my bad. But um, you know, I'm trying my best. Uh, I just applied for a Dragon's Dogma two code because I realised that I finally put it up on Rainmaker. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited because I want to play that game. Even though I've already got so many games that I'm playing. Because they have cat people. And the character creation looks incredible. And it looks great. So, we'll see. I might get denied because I am just a, a, a pleb. But, uh, we'll see. Uh, I, I applied for an Xbox code. So I know that they're usually a bit more limited. So we'll see. We'll see. But I love... I don't know about anyone else. To me, RPGs console. There's something about, like... I think it's because Skyrim, Fallout. I played all those on the Xbox 360. So to, in my mind, RPG equal console. Like, that's how... MMO PC, RPG console. That, that's how my brain works. Um, but yeah, I've heard fantastic things about Dragon's Dogma 2, and I literally was on the toilet doing my wee wee, and I saw it come up saying, hey, Europe creators, apply on Rainmaker. So I was like, bam, I'm going to try and get one. So I'll, I'll, we'll see. If I do get accepted, I'm going to have to make, maybe that maybe Dragon's Dogma 2 will be our news day. News, new, news day. News day next week. Who knows? You know what else has cat people? Shut up, squirrel. <laughs> oh, do you know what? I still need to recall re-record your 12 mount sound command. I might just do that now. I done it live last time. Oh no, I didn't. I done it as a surprise last time, didn't I? I think we should. I think I think I need to re-record. 
I think we need, because if I don't do it now, I'll forget. So let's just let's do a live recording of Scrub's replacement. Because the fishing game, oh my gosh, we literally had the developer of the fishing game in the other day. And I didn't tell them that it literally corrupted one of my sound files. Ah, I should have spoke to him about it. I should have been like, by the way, mate, your game corrupted one of my sounds. <laughs> What's that about? Uh, recording. Mic in. Okay. Uh, let's open. We need to go to uh, um, Sprites. Where is Sprites these days? Flip. I oh, know it's an art, isn't it? My art. And then merch. No, then K Power XD. And then merch. Then Sprites. Then. Alerts? Merchant alert base. There we go. Playing out of that. Yeah. Wait! Wait! No! Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, hold on, 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 hold on. Wait, wait, wait! Oi! Get out of my boxes, Scrap! What have I told you about getting in my stock? You've got my audacity file! I saved it with the Scrap sound! Yeah! It's not fixed! I saved it with the Scrap sound! Oh my god! I didn't find it! I, I had a. I literally saved it! as a project file because I was using the backing track and everything. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Let me export that and make a new copy. Hell yeah, Scrut Merchant. Oh, that's really made me happy that has. I was so sad about missing out on the old Oh, it lives! It lives! It lives! Oh my god, when it started playing, I had it coming out my monitors and not out my headset. And I was literally like, no way. No way. Is Did I save it? So this isn't the MP3 that I originally had. But it is the file that I recorded and I saved it under Audacity. Oh my gosh, I was do you know what's hilarious? Before I started play I started playing it, heard the whistling, and I thought, oh, that's the merchant. I need to delete that. I deleted it. Then my brain went, hold on a minute. None of the alerts have whistling except Scrut's command. And that's when I was like, oh my gosh, that's Scrut's command that I've saved. Let me just redo the command oh mate oh mate oh that's well made me happy well done past kpow well done for accidentally saving it as a set as a as a as a actual project file for oh god now what help <laughs> what is wrong with my computer at the moment is it T-Bot that's lagging? Wait. Wait, is it T-Bot that is lagging my computer out recently? Okay, it might actually be T-Bot. 
it might actually be, be T-Bot. Right, go on, Scrut, let her rip. Go on, Scrut, let her rip. <laughs> Oi! Get out of my boxes, Scrut! What have I told you about getting in my stock? You've got to get your own boxes. Honestly, the blasted cheek of it. Get out of it! Oh my god, it lives, it lives, it lives! Oh, the original sound. I can't tell you how upset I was that day when the original sound was gone and I would have to re-record it because I just know it wouldn't have hit as well. It wouldn't have hit the spot like the original one did. Ah, oh, well done, previous me. Do you know what? I really thought I deleted that pro project folder because what I used to do was I saved the backing track because that's what I do for the merchant alerts. Um, and I usually delete my voice. So I was expecting to load it up and have it blank, but it wasn't. Ah. <gasps> oh. But now I'm also mad about that stream where I spent two hours trying to find it. Do you know what's crazy? I actually have the broken file on my desktop, which I can finally delete now. Let me just go back to my desktop so I can delete it because maybe that's what's causing me problems. It's like the, the corrupted file just hanging out on my desktop. It's just chilling over there. Oh, speaking of chilling, the ESO just crashed. So, oh, there we go. Good job. ESO just done crashed. Okay, there we go. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay. I have an itchy nozzle. <sighs> the relief I feel right now. I'm so happy right now. Me too. Me too. Oh. It lives. I had to, it's not the original MP3. I had to save it again, but at least it's all the same data, just not the same file. <laughs> hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, that's made me, that's, well, I'm well chuffed about that. I am well chuffed. I'm a simple Khajiit. I get, sim I get pleased by the most simple of things. That most recent Windows update has made my computer very angry. I can't. I don't want to talk about how many times my computer crashed the video editing software I was using the past few weeks where I've been making videos. Oh my gosh, I don't know what's happened. Uh, this is what I get for updating a Windows update before checking is it safe to update windows.com or whatever the website is. There's also a website like that for OBS. People make websites now for it. Is it safe to update? I've gone down to half a sugar in my tea. I have. Are you proud? Are you proud of me? Wait, does this mean that- wait, what? Very proud. Sips his, sips his four sugar scoop tea. <laughs> I just went up from two to three. You know what? I I did have two sugars in my tea until a couple of years ago 
when I realized that as much as I love sugar, I drink a lot of tea. So I was drinking, I mean, I drink a lot of tea. So I was, I was basically eating and drinking a ridiculous amount of sugar. And I realized I needed to make a change. So I went down to one sugar and then Angry Dad's cut sugar out of his tea completely because of all of his situation and everything. So I decided I'm going to go down to half. I don't know if I'll ever drop to zero. Apparently you do get really used to it. But to be honest, this half of sugar, at first I was like, oh, but now I'm used to it. It's crazy how quickly you get used to it. Half a sugar. So, yeah. Although when I go to my nan's, when I go to Nan Pals, she uh, she always forgets and still gives me two. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that's sugary. But I do like a little treat every now and then. It, I'm not one of those people where I'm like, ooh, it's sugary. It's like, oh, it's sugary. How exciting. And then I just, en I really enjoy that tea. I do love, I, I, I think my favorite tea is still a two sugar tea. But, um, yeah, no, I can't, I, I can't do it. It's no good for me, and I drink way too many teas. So it was either cut down the amount of tea that I drink, or cut down the amount of sugar in my tea. So I thought, well, I'd rather not give up my tea. So, uh, cutting my sugar it was. Skip a do, skip a do, skip a do, ba do, do. Double check that I did. Uh. Sorry for anyone that's scared of the grudge. I probably just gave you. Uh, I probably just uh, made fear rock through your body. I do apologize. I cut sugar out completely now when someone puts sugar in my tea. I find it too sugary. So I don't get that. I still really enjoy sugary tea. But I just, I just don't, I don't, it's not like I drink a tea without sugar now and go, ugh. I feel like if, like one, I feel like half a sugar, I could eventually cut down to zero quite comfortably. Uh, I'm just not prepared to do that right now. I, I get more, I get so much joy out of tea. And I'd rather slowly do it. Yeah, I just slowly. Once since I started greatly reducing my sweetener and soda, I find that I'm not really missing it that much. I will say that from what I've heard, sweetener in a lot of ways is actually worse for you than sugar because of the chemicals in it and things. But um, you're better having sugar in moderation than sweetener in big bouts. But that being said, I do know that with sugar it is an addictive substance like you can get hooked on sugar and um yeah it, it's dangerous it's da ah! <laughs> i'm back by the way sugar yeah sugar is an addictive substance so you've got to be careful with it you got to be really careful You've got to be careful with it. But I've heard a lot of people say that cutting out sugar the first couple of weeks was the hardest part. And then after that, you just don't even think about it. Raw sugar is better, yeah. Lemon in my water and fake tea juice for the win. Lem lemon is good. I like a bit of lemon. Not in, not in, but not fake tea juice, no. Lemon water, yes, delicious. Delicious. Yeah, research shows that artificial sweetener fools your body into releasing insulin, even though you don't need it. Yep, it's supposed to be really bad for you. So I'm, I'd rather cut down my sugar than swap to sweeteners, to be honest. That being said, I, my, I do, I'm a. Hello. 
And now you're here. That mortal I chased after in Fargrave. Perfect. Do you enjoy seeing Hezek in the dirt? Hm? Robbed of the one thing Madam Wim asked me to keep safe? My debt to her will never end after this. Someone robbed you? What did they acquire? They stole a secret! I carried it through this awful, ravening morass to trade at the Obscured Forum. <laughs> Madam Wim wants a boon from Hermaeus Mora. But the Void Prowler clan found me, kicked me, then stole the secret. I'll never get it back. Please, tell this one. Why can I not just steal it back from the Void Prowlers? They would just kick me again. I need help. You could help. Mortals like gold, right? I have some. We'll find the Void Prowlers, and then you'll take the secrets. Maybe keep them back? Then you can keep Hezek safe while we finish my job. This one will help take back your secret from the Void Prowlers and trade it at the Obscured Forum. I can track the Void Prowlers with my mirror, but I lost it when they chased me. Look around some stairs by the shore, and grab anything that might belong to the thieves. <laughs> That'll be helpful. That's it. Get walking. I hear mortals require exercise. Yeah, weirdly enough, I really like the taste of Coke Zero and Pepsi Max. If I do have a fizzy drink, it's either Dr. Pepper, Coke Zero, or Pepsi Max. And also, the benefit of that in the UK is as much as sugar is not is bad for you, so is fake sugar. But in the UK, we have sugar tax. So if a food has a bunch of sugar in it, you pay extra tax on that, VAT tax on that food because it's got sugar tax on it. So when you go to Mackie D's, for example, if you ask for a Coke Zero, your meal will be cheaper than if you buy a full sugar Coke. Same with Diet Coke. Like, Coke Zero and Diet Coke will be cheaper because of sugar tax. I don't think we've uh, caught up with the fact that fake sugar is just as bad for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but uh, I... Uh, I... I, um, I like... Uh, I do like me... A, 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 the but to be fair, the amount I drink fizzy drinks, anything basically like that is okay in moderation it's not like i'm having fizzy drinks every week i would say i have fizzy drinks for maybe once twice a month uh other than that is tea or water tea or water that's that's what i drink so yeah if i have a fizzy drink it's probably not gonna hurt me if i go for the cheaper option <laughs> and also i just really like the taste of pepsi max and coke zero but i i mean it can't go wrong with a bit of docky p yeah a bit of docky p anyway Oriel would like to know you carry secrets? When required, I don't have much choice. His extent to Madame Wim is long, and only getting longer. So yes, I carry secrets. Fetch people. Do her shopping. Whatever she asks. How does someone carry a secret? That's an odd question. How do you carry anything? You put it in your pocket. Or maybe your back if it's a big secret. Several hundred years ago, I hired an intron cart to convey a particularly large secret for Madame Wim. A secret is not a physical item, though. <laughs> physical item? What's physical? Am I physical? I made this meat heap you see out of energies from oblivion. So what am I? Physical or energy? Mortals have souls, yes? Or what are you, meat? Or a soul? Both, right? There you go! Then, what does the secret you, lo you lost look like, her? First, I didn't lose it. It was stolen. <laughs> anyway, it looks like... Uh, what do mortals call it? A thing you used to eat? A fork, yeah. Couldn't tell you why it chose to look like that, though. Secrets aren't known for explaining themselves. How is Madame Wynne these days? Busy. People always need something from her. 
The House of Whims gets so full that I need a side entrance just to get in. Of course, when she's busy, that means I run all over oblivion with menial tasks. Who are these void prowlers that stole the secret? They're a Dramora clan. Ignore the exciting name. No one sees them as more than petty brutes. Since anyone in Apocrypha probably has a secret. Yeah, we don't have cold the syrup over here. The can easily steal them from the unsuspecting. Cold syrup really upset my stomach when I was in the, the Americano. I was in the US when I was there for the Greymore Las Vegas reveal, which, by the way, my video I posted today on Twitch, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook was partially from the Greymore reveal in Las Vegas. Yeah, my stomach was mad at the different, like, colorants out there and the corn syrup. It was delicious. Don't get me wrong. It was delicious. But my stomach, when I got home, was mad. Or the day like, after a couple of days of eating all the food out there, my belly was angry. And I was desperate for some, some good old veggies. I will say, again, delicious. The meat, perfectly seasoned. The food tasted good. I don't think it was very good for me. <laughs> you will tell this one. What do they do with the secrets? Trade them for something they want. I see them in Fargrave sometimes. Always pushing people around. Sometimes they even do business with Madame Wim. Ah, that's how they knew poor Hizik carried a secret! Probably tracked me the whole time! Ajit would like to know, why did you come to Ravening Morass? Wasn't my choice. Madame Wim wants a boon from the big eye in the sky. Oh, wait, I should probably be respectful while I'm here. Anyway, the Ravening Morass is where they built the Obscured Forum, and that's where I can get the boon, so here I am. Do you know anything else about this area? What's there to know? Look around. It's a, it's a morass. I, I don't really know what a ravening is, but I'm sure it's that too. I guess it's not the worst place in Oblivion. Cold Harbor? Oh, now that's awful. Or Nern, so boring. Ever been? Oh, <laughs> never mind. That being said, I did, I did end up going on... Uh instagram and tiktok when there was a trend of people freezing corn syrup mixed with uh like different liquid sweets and then eating it like the frozen honey trend and it did look satisfying also we did try that here in this household in the pal household um we tried frozen honey and it it was really satisfying it was really satisfying what is in the obscured forum that you mentioned I guess you'd understand the forum as a big marketplace, but instead of buying things mortals use, you trade knowledge. It has any kind, truth, fantasies, wisdom, whatever you need. And you can trade the secret there? Well, if I can get it back, then yes. Inside the forum is a thing called the Intake Maw. You can deposit some knowledge into it. It's sufficiently powerful. The Ma delivers a boon from Hermaeus Mora. I suppose Madame Wim thinks this secret has enough power. You know what the secret is, yes? No, it's a secret. <laughs> Secrets rapidly lose value the more people know it. If it becomes worthless and Heza can't trade it for a boon, Madam Wim will just add even more to my debt. Coriel can ask about something else, yeah? I suppose you can. It's not like we need to catch up with escaping thieves or anything. I love how whiny he is. Not about anything other than this place. Ah, uh, no, he's so whiny. Relies on mortal help. Oh, what's become of me? Oh, so this is the last side quest that I think I need. Oh, sweet. I accidentally bumped into it. I was going to go to the point of interest. He was really far up. I like that they're adding side quests next to the um, way shrines now so that you definitely don't miss them. It's super handy. Although I know now to go to the icon icons that are not showing, you know. 
but again, that is an add-on that shows the icons, because <laughs> um, they're not just magically active, usually. Hello? Look for my mirror, then see if the Void Crawlers dropped anything. Look for his little mirror. Thieves ambushed me. Is that cloth? Yes, good, useful. Hey, it's not my fault that that's what you dropped, bro. How is that my fault? I see my mirror. Could be a trap. You get it. My mirror. Is it broken? Oh no, buddy. Oh, your mirror! I like to admit it was just sugar, yeah. Today's task, buy five swords and three shields in Fargrave. Find that runt Hezek. Steal Madame Wim's secret from that runt Hezek. Sharpen one our new swords. Capture a lurker. Find out what lurkers eat. Do a quick raid on the Obscured Forum. Why would Void Prowler brutes keep notes? Ah! And we gotta find one item. Don't think it's this way. Yes. This last item then. Huh? Aha! Oh flip. Oh bugger it. I better go go all the way back round. Yeah, bugger it. Ah, flip sake. I know, he's so diddy. He's a whiny little bugger. He's so cute. I do actually remember him from uh, Fargrave. Oh, your new mouse is ready to be picked up. Sweet, Scrat, sweet. People leave trash everywhere, don't they? He's so tiny. The mortal keeps Hezek waiting with anticipation. I'm sure you're gonna love it, Scrap. I can stand here forever. You're the one who grows old. Ow. But you found my mirror, and that's what matters. I'll use it to track the Void Prowlers. Assuming you found something of theirs as an anchor. Here is a scrap of fabric, an empty satchel, and a soggy notebook. Mortals are quite skilled at picking up garbage, aren't they? <laughs> anyway, this fabric tore off a Void Prowler's tunic. I grabbed for it as I fell. We'll use this to track the thieves. This notebook... I knew it! They did follow me from Fargrave! What about the satchel? It's nothing. Not every piece of detritus you see on the ground is about you. Find the Void Prowlers, then. You don't give Hezek orders! But yes, I'll use this cloth and notebook to locate them. Mm, should have guessed. They went to the Obscured Forum, right where I was headed. I bet they plan to trade the secret for their own boon. That's my job! He should go recover your secret. Head south and you'll find the Obscured Forum. Hard to miss. Look for the books. We'll catch the Void Prowlers there and take back my secret. How does your mirror track people? The module knows very little about scarfing, yes. My mirror shows me other places in Oblivion. Usually places I've already been to. This time... Hi, Quest. I know that you glad you found you found as an anchor to the Void Prowlers. That lets the mirror show me where they went. Okay. I'm not sure, Nightshade. I don't know if it's Barbus's voice actor. You might you'd have to Google it. Unless anyone in chat knows. One of the thieves! You talk to her. 
Ah, Gray's trick. Now you're here. I told him it was a bad idea. Zaval said he underestimated them. But damn, this stings. Who is Zaval? And what did he underestimate? Our leader pushed us to raid the Forum. Quite the bounty, he thought. I told him the Dark Reeves live in there. They'll tear us up. Now look. What are the Dark Reeves? Vicious guards. Crazed. Attack on sight. Unless you're a book. You're with the runt. Zavol's still in there. If you go after him, you'll die too. We are going in after him. Last I saw Zavol, he ran deep into the forum. Have fun with the Dark Reeves if you go in. Now leave me be, mortal. I have dying to do. Why did you steal the secret from Hezek? Not personal. He works for Wim. She has the juicy stuff. Valuable. With that and the score here, maybe we get our own fortress. Why would you want to hurry dying? Because they come back. <laughs> Mortals. It was a joke. We don't die. This just hurts. I'm ready for a new body. Goodbye. Get in. Tide. We're losing time. <laughs> I felt bad cutting him up, so I thought I'll finish it for him. Now we find that secret. Hezek will let you live. Good idea, Hezek, you little cutie patootie. I feel yeah, like Hezek would be friends with Scrub. Deposit a secret. Get a boom. Ooh. Om nom nom nom. No, no, no! It's too big! We need a plan. Talk with me. The obscured forum is too big! I can't use summon portals. Hezix can only fit one person. I think it's because they're both small, and I think I gave your little I think I gave the scrubs horns, right? For you. So we search on foot. Miserable. We do not know where to look. The longer we wander aimlessly, the more likely a swarm of dark reefs tears us apart. This is impossible. I suppose I'll prepare myself for another thousand years of serving Madame Wynne. We still have the mirror. It can track them again. Now you're giving me... This is really cool the way it's panning up. Make a decision of his own. Yes, of course. Let me do as you wish. <laughs> it does appear the leader was here recently. And we might find him in that large room below us. Let us go find the leader. Watch for the dark reefs. They hide in the dark, naturally. Great! Well done, Hezek. Well done. That was really cool, the way that it was panning up as he was talking. Uh, I have noticed that that's something that ESO is doing a little bit more. Instead of just having the usual, ah, uh, it zooms into the character. They're actually doing some really cool stuff with the camera. Like choosing to look over their shoulder across a big area or something like that. It's just a, just feels like there's a bit more thought going into it, really. Which I'm a big fan of. Because I love the views and the graphics and the, the the design of the of the games you know oh, oh the runs here that's him he kicked me does he have the secret the someone who supposedly traffics in secrets madam wim has a very unsubtle employee she gave a secret to that scarf in hezek what that i suspect is a fairly juicy secret. Our friend who frequents the House of Whims passed along that the secret needs to go to the obscured forum over in Apocrypha. Here's your job. Go to the Ravening, Mor Morris. Track down the Scarfin and grab the secret. We can sell it off for a hefty sum, depending on what the secret pertains, of course. Have fun in the muck of Apocrypha. Kinrive Turifei. The 
secret isn't here. I failed. All the Void Brothers are dead, stuck in the obscured forum, and the secret's still lost. I'm a failure, mortal! I let Madam win down! She's gonna add more years to my dad, I mean. We could keep searching. You don't understand! Secrets want to hide! They change appearance to blend in! As it bets, this one looks like a book now because... Look around! We can't find one secret among all these tomes! No, I'll just have to go back to Fargrave. Your mirror could locate the secret, yes? No, all I see in it is my pitiful face. Just how Madam Wim must see me. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> hold on. Lost <laughs> items. Yes, how could I say forget? Oh, I know a spell. It reveals anything that's lost. It's, it's how I met Madam Wim. But I need reagents. Of course you do. What do you need? Let's see what's useful in a bookstore. Get me a tome shell feather, a glob of mold, red, not green, and, oh right, a quill. Hezek has never had a great memory, but that should do it. Oriel will track down those reagents. Everything I listed should be plentiful here. Tome shells are everywhere, so finding a feather is easy. The red mold, it grows in dark corners. And a quill? Look on a desk. I'll stay with you to make sure you get the right thing. Moving on, Ella, how are you today? I'd be glad, because if you're not, I'll be sad. Forgive, Coriel, but you said the spell is how you met Madame Wim. Did I? I don't think so. As it didn't know, mortals were prone to hear things that were never said. That I certainly never said. And if I had said it, I wouldn't tell you anyway. Tell Coriel more about this spell you plan to use. Long ago, before I worked for Madame Wim, I found things. It was my whole existence. Lose something, I'd find it. Mortals summoned me just because they needed stuff found. This spell helped me do that. It's been a while, but I'll remember it. Hmm. Um, I think I'd hydrate more on stream if I had like a sippy cup. I really miss my sippy cup lid for my water bottle. They don't sell it anymore, don't probably because it went moldy. Good. I hate those pests. Big mistake. I did find a Hello Kitty one that I've put on my throne. Right to keep moving. I also did add, you'll be pleased to know, I added a mirror. <laughs> now, I don't know if the mirror is going to be big enough, but it is a mirror deco den kit. So I'd make my own mirror and we'd do it on stream. That has been added on there as like a project. And I'm, but I might have to buy a different mirror because I, I don't know if that one's big enough. I did measure it, but I can't visualize it. So we'll see when it arrives. As it needs space for the spell. Deeper into the form we go. Ah. Uh, yeah, I added a couple of things on there. Um, also, Scrap, just to let you know, uh, I know that you sent a bunch of gifts recently. They are all still on order. None of them have shipped yet. So I don't know what's going on there. The echo of a hall. Should be plenty of space for the spell. Meet Isaac inside. Whoa! My spell will cover a wide area. Yeah, I just wanted to let you know so that you don't feel like I haven't opened them on stream. Oh, I real quick. Let me real quick show you. Because I don't think you were here when I showed these. Um, sent me something and it was out of stock and I said that you and Anubis gave me enough monies to buy something and I found something on Etsy that I really liked. Uh, well, uh, this is what I bought. I bought these uh, shorties and 
if I zoom in, you'll see why I'm really excited about them. So they are short, but they're baggy. They're like cute like a skirt. But inside, <laughs> they've got tighter shorts. So if the wind blows, I don't flash my bottom. But also look, it has pockets and look what's on the pockets. Skooma cat. So when I saw these on Etsy, I absolutely had to have them. That being said, I got myself a medium, but I'm actually thinking I should have probably got a small. Though I think they do have, uh, yeah, they do tighten, so I'll be all right. But how cool! So Anubis and Scrat, your uh, funds that were sitting in my throne account, I used that to buy these for the ESO event. I'm hoping it's going to be warm enough for me to wear them. If not, I'm going to wear tights with them because I think that would work. Maybe if I got some like purple tights. But yeah, they have skooma pockets on both sides. So basically, if I if I'm wearing these, my leg will be inside these, and then like these these will be like flowy round it. But if I want to like show people my skooma, I can flash my skooma. There you go. <laughs> and the the pattern on them is skooma and moon sugar. And I was just like, oh my gosh. Uh, if anyone's wondering, these are from Cheeky Ints. Inks, cheeky inks from Etsy. So yeah, they're uh, they they're pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. I know they're so cool. So thank you, Scrat and Anubis, for both sending me gifts that were out of stock, and then the money was refunded into my throne account, and I grabbed those. <laughs> yeah, as well as a couple of other bits that I bought for myself the other day uh, that haven't arrived yet because uh, yes, style. Another thing that Scrut sent me was a lipstick from F lipstick from Flower Nose, but unfortunately they were out of stock too. So I also used that money to buy some bits on Yes Style, and the stuff that I replaced with the lipstick ended up I got way more for the price of that one lipstick. So I was like having a little spend up, and I really enjoyed it. <laughs> so thank you, Scrut. I don't do this, but yeah, I don't know what's going on. I think to be fair, I have had prices uh take this long to arrive so it's nothing it's not it's, it's not like this hasn't happened before this has definitely happened before but i just wanted to let you know that they they're not showing as shipped one of them says shipped but i would imagine it's come let me double check let me double check what's going on for those that don't know what we're talking about we're talking about throne and uh, throne is a website where i add stuff to my wish list and you can send goodies with no personal details being shared between us. And it's basically, um, it's a really great way to send your favorite streamers prezzies. You can have a look what other streamers are on there, but uh, I, I'm on there and I have added a few extra things. Like I said, I added the Deco de Mirror kit and a sippy cup, a little kitty sippy cup that I saw that's got Karomi on it as well. It's got Cuckoo, it's got My Melody. And you can also suggest items. So if you don't want to send me something, but you think of something that I've said on stream that I need, and then I forget to add it to the wish list, you can suggest items to the throne wish list as well. And you can even send surprise stuff. So secret stuff. So I wouldn't even know what it was until it arrived. Uh, but let me just double check the orders. Yeah, so every single gift that you sent on the 7th of March is stuck on ordered right now and I don't know why. Uh, all the other ones say shipped but only one of them has arrived and I think I'm trying to remember okay so I think this the one of them yeah the, the boba tea shirt has arrived but there we're waiting on three more that haven't arrived yet from that from February the 4th so I might have to chase that and uh, see if I've got a tracking number that I can look into. Anyway, back to the thing. <laughs> After so many years, as oh gosh, don't crimson! I'm, I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> still have the skill. What if it turns me inside out? Or I fall through a portal into the lap of a hathercrow. Oh, uh, actually, before before we do this, just a just a quick mirror update. <laughs> um, <laughs> just a quick, just a quick mirror update. <laughs> 
<laughs> that literally happened this morning. The glue and the tape is literally not even hanging on by a piece of tape. Oh, never mind. Yeah, it was, um, it, it's, uh, it's live, it needs to be put out of its misery, I think. It's. <laughs> I think it's um <laughs> Please can you mount and frame that when I roll her fire happens? <laughs> no, I was just doing my makeup this morning and as I was I was holding it by the tape to try and hold it together and as I was doing something my hand moved and it just went <laughs> To be fair, it was hanging, it was literally taped together. So the tape was slowly weakening. I, I, I... In my defense, I did finally add another mirror to the throne wish list. I added a little deco den kit so I can like craft and be fun. But yeah, it's, um, mm hmm. Yeah, that's, uh, I, I'm weirdly still attached to it, though. Like, I can't bring myself to get, Badgers keeps telling me, just get a new mirror. But I'm like, but this one's been through so much with me. <laughs> I opened that mirror on stream, I think during, it was, it was, it, it must have been like 2018 when I had a mystery box and it was in a mystery box. It was in a Halloween mystery box. And I remember I bought the mystery box on stream because they were super limited edition and I was in the queue and we would, we went through it all the whole experience together. And then I started adding stickers onto it because the whole brand got a little bit controversial, but yeah, yeah, maybe I should get some duct tape. Maybe instead of replacing it, I should just get some duct tape. Anyway, now back to the story. <laughs> After so many years, as it feels uncertain about this, do I still have the skill? What if it turns me inside out? Or I fall through a portal into the lap of a Hathacrel? Madam Wim needs you to do this. Here are the reagents. Yes, that's right. And I need to do this. To reduce my debt, of course. I'll need perfect concentration, so don't bother me. Head down into the hall. When I've located the secret, you should collect it. Anything else this one should know? While Hezek knows what he's doing, I might not get this right the first time, so you'll need to be patient. I'll call out the location of where I think it is, and you go there and look for it. When you see it, collect it for me. Coriel will follow your instructions, your directions, and find the secret. Am I supposed to be? Oh. I don't see what flare I'm following. Maybe it's just the glow. I love it when you do that. Thanks, Ember. This is a big boy seeker. Look. This is a named seeker. Okay, girl. Brian Scroll. Not 
Ooh. Okay, buddy. This better be it. I ran out of mold. <laughs> 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 what did Hezek say? I. <gasps> I can't believe you. Oh, currently unavailable. Thank you, Poo. You got me excited. It wouldn't have worked without you here. Except I would have found a way. Somehow. Here is your missing secret. No, you hold on to it. That thing has caused me enough trouble. If the Dark Reeves attack us on the way back, Hezek might lose it again. What should this one do with it? I think, Scrap, maybe the thing... I know that some of the stuff that was on my wish list was from, like, different countries and stuff. So I would imagine it's just taking a long time to get here or something. I don't know. I know that we finished that conversation, like, ten minutes ago, but my brain... <laughs> My brain work funny time. Madam Wim wants me to deposit that secret at the intake mall. That will purchase her a boon of Mora. I need a moment to recover. Go back to the uh, intake room and drop this secret into the intake mall. I'll be right behind you. This one will head to the intake mall. Let us go, let us go. This place is so cool. Ah! <gasps> I wonder if anyone's died from that fall. Hello, little tome shell. A troublesome secret. It better be a good one. Whoa. For knowledge, deposit payment for assessment. Well, do as it says. Fish. Knowledge deposited. Hold for assessment. No, I do not want to hear Wim's doubt. Hezek is my most invaluable servant. Much of my power comes from his skill. Without him, I would be lost. What? Aww. It's supposed to be a secret, not a lie. Knowledge assessed and found sufficient. Accept this boon of Hermaeus Mora. Move along. Chat, what secret would you put in there? Come on, it's give me spill true. the tea. Y you get the boon. Hezek needs to think. Oh, Hezek! Ridiculous. Meet me outside, mortal. I'm I'm done here. Oh, Hezek! Like me when Bad just gives me a compliment. Oh, bless him. knew that it was going to read it out to him. I never want to see another book ever again. <laughs> so, you have the boon, which means the secret had value. Madam Wim believes what she said. You help... An actual boon on me? No. Okay. So, you have the boon, which means the secret had value. Madam Wim believes what she said. You helped lowly Hezek, and reminded me of my purpose. Even though we're lying on a morning. Travis, hello, how are you today? Hope you're glad, because if you're not, I'll be sad. Hello. I'll give you something of mine with great value. 
What is that? Hezek's secret. When my debt to Madam Wim gets too low, I'll mess up a job on purpose. The Void Prowlers have a clan, yes? Well, I have her. That's it. That's the most valuable thing I can give you. Oh, fine. Here's some shiny whatever this is. <laughs> what she said changes nothing, by the way. As it still resents scurrying around when told to. Still. All right, then. Back to Farbird for me. Hope I never see you again, <laughs> mortal. And keep what I said to yourself. It's useless value otherwise. You must tell this one. Why do you keep what you told her a secret? Mortal, you and I are different. Madam Wynn, me, probably most Datra. We like our secrets. It's what we're comfortable with. You can go tell your feelings to whoever you want. Hezek wants no part of that. Oh, Hezek, you're so cute. Right, I am going to be right back again. I know that I not long went to the toilet. I'm, I'm not going to make a tea. I'm just going to pop to the loo because I'm out of nowhere busting. The good news is fishing is already open, so you can actually play this fishing this time. Don't forget, you can go to kpowertsu.com for slash links to check out all my links, including Spriteys, the mythical and cryptid creatures from the realm of insanity. Learn their traits and personalities and tell me which one you relate to the most. I'll be right back. Enjoy fishing. Enjoy playing words. I'm just going to pop to the loo real quick. I'll see you in a bit. I'm really sorry, this just isn't working anymore. Really? Yeah, you'll thank me eventually. You'll be fine, you just need a cup of tea. What? Shh. A graze or minor injury. There's tea. There's tea. You took an arrow to the knee. Have tea. Oh, tea. Even winners of the morning. On Monday leaves you feeling blue And your boss has a rage that you can't subdue You likely see his point of view If you just sit down and have a brew If zombies come back from the dead And you're all tucked up inside your bed Put down your guns, use tea instead Then you Just talk, Sarah. Your legs trapped underneath debris. There's tea. There's tea. You feel a burning when you pee. Have tea. Oh, tea. Been sectioned for insanity. More British than the Jubilee. I even heard it made blind man see. Love a cup of tea.
no more fishing, please. I've gone to the toilet and I'm feeling refreshed. Um, hello. How we doing? Did I miss much? Did you catch many fish? Did you get many words right? Were you too busy fishing to words? Let me know. Uh, also, also, also. Nope. Don't know what I was going to say. We've nearly caught every fish. Nearly. Nearly, nearly, nearly. Slad, hello, how are you today? Hope you're glad, because if you're not, I'll be sad. Hello, how you doing? Hello. Right. We have done all the side quests of Necrom, other than the new uh, dungeons, but that's not really Necrom, so it's... Uh, that's the DLC for Gold Row, but anyway, that's it's not... Anyway. Oh, actually, I've not done the dungeon quest, so we should... I, I don't know. I need to catch up with a lot of the dungeon quests, because I like to do the quests when I've got a slow group, so I can actually enjoy it, but not done that in a while. So, uh, let's go grab this uh, path of point of interest. Oh, good. I didn't want to walk. Then, I think we might do the public dungeon... Because then, the next time that we play, we can literally just focus on main story. Hello, I'm back, by the way. We've done all the side quests. Now we just got to do the public dungeon and uh, gather this one point of interest that I missed. So I'm going to quickly go do that. Thank you very much for the follows on Twitch, TikTok, and YouTube. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, we got... Four more to go on the main story. So I thought... Oh. Hello. I heard the Great Shackle was destroyed. I hope that means the plane melt has been stopped. Well, I thought I did all the side quests. <sighs> I wouldn't go that way if I were you, Traveler. The study down the road is crawling with horrors, and they're sure to spill out. I only just made it out of there with my life. Hermaeus Mora, have mercy. What is the study? <sighs> the disquiet study. I was, am, an archivist there. The books have always been a bit animate in the study, but they've started pouring their contents out into the world. I tried to warn the Nord woman I just passed, but she just laughed. What Nord woman? I didn't catch her name, though she did look oddly familiar. She was heading right for the study, calm as could be. I tried to warn her, as I'm warning you now, but she just laughed. Acted like I was some sort of blubbering child. The nerve! Coriel thanks you for the warning. Okay, I guess we found another... Quest that I missed? Yeah. Uh, let me just quickly go gra grab this point. Ooh! This is a really cool point of interest. I would imagine the main story might take me here for something. This can't be a delve quest, because I've done all the delves, right? They're not supposed to go... Eh? Cut it out, Vaughn, or I'm going to slap the pages out of you. It says I've completed all the delve quests. I'm confused. Evening, friend. Or morning. <laughs> Hard to tell in these Daedric realms. You've just stumbled upon the oddest family reunion this side of Fargrave. I'm Eastguild, and this annoying tome is my brother, Vorm. As you can see, we're in a bit of a conundrum. Wait, that floating book is your brother? Somehow, my know-it-all twin found a way to become even more pretentious. At least, I'm pretty sure it's him. Hmm... <laughs> no, no, it's definitely him. I think he wants me to enter the study to find a way to fix him. Care to join? It'll be fun. What would we need to do? Before you came along, Vorm spat this note at me. The family's favorites. V. Hmm. 
short and vague, but can't imagine it was easy writing this given his so current confused. situation. <sighs> My best guess, we go into the library and check out some books. <sighs> now terrestrial. Marjit will enter this study with you, and warm. Mother always said I was good at making friends. <laughs> Wait, where were you going, Vorm? I'm so confused. I thought I did all the delve quests. Unless this is a bonus delve quest, like an extra delve quest? I don't know. Oh, wait, what? Oh, take Vorm's map. I missed that. I missed that. Looks like a map? Uh, how about you take that, friend? I'll just follow Vorm. It seems legible enough. Ew. That's that. We'll meet you inside. Okay. I should probably check the other delves to make sure that it wasn't that I... But they, they usually don't go cleared until I've done them. Why am I going this way? I'm going the complete wrong way. I'm going the complete wrong way. I should not be going this way. Ow. I should not be going this way. I should be going the other way. All right, friend. We'll meet you on the other side. Okay. Sorry about going the wrong way and stuff. My bad. Let me, let me up, let me up. I don't want to run that. Oh, flip sake. Ew. Why is there a swamp jelly in here? Really? You're gonna be like this? Really? How my brother gets anything done in here? Lost my fingers. Just a thing. Hey, back on your feet. That's quite frosty out of its case. Now, ever so gently, take the rhyme shard and. You're not burnt to a cinder or frozen to death. That's a qualified success in my book. I might need to take a detour through Takubar to grab a handful of those. What about? Ooh. I have a feeling that I'm going to get attacked shortly. Yeah, I got told off for taking the shortcut. Treasure? My bad. Why are there shades in here? Oh yeah, <laughs> that looks good. Fabricants? I feel like she did explain this to me and I just didn't listen. This isn't what I meant when I said you need to book about fun. This looks like some place Mother would love. Minus the beasts, of course. That sounds pretty dry, doesn't it? Uh, let's take a look around. I can't quite remember her favorite. Hey, that sounds familiar. Yeah, I remember now. Mother would read these. 
caves. People swapped out the names for hours. Do keep up, lady. Do keep up. Balls. My bad. Okay, in the study we are. I definitely have been up here before. The biographies sure were full of themselves, weren't they, Vorm? Is this it, Vorm? Just a little light reading? Wait, what happened to the pages? Have a look around, friend. See if you can find them. Okay. Find something boring? Probably on the right track. Vorm seems excited about that one. I feel like she's gonna be sad when Vorm turns back into an actual Nord. He said he seems quite cute as a little uh there's a little uh, tome tome shell. You find something boring? Probably on the right track. Unrelated appendices, complex graphs. Let's keep looking. Hey, looks good as new. Well, all things considered. Anyway, grab that. <laughs> Looks like Vorm is ready to leave. Uh, meet us outside with those books when you finish up in here. That's the lot of them. Sorry, lady. I seem to be uh, skipping a lot of like, your dialogue by accident. Uh, it's a lot of picking things up. You're dangerous, huh? I can't... I'm really confused. Does this mean I might have missed other dolls? I like to do all the side quests before finishing the main quest. Because you dare try to steal knowledge from me. Basically, it's just the right thing to do. From this ink, I draw my strength. Bye. I return. Bye bye, buddy. I've definitely been in here many times, but usually it doesn't say that the delve's done until I've done the quest, the sky shard. And the world boss, and and the delve boss. Now I'm worried that I would have missed other delve quests, but they're all marked as completed. I'm so confused. Huh. Oh, glad you made it out of there. Huh. Huh. Vorm's been so excited since we collected all three books. He's practically shedding pages. Hand me those books, and we'll see if Vorm's actually got a plan. Or if he conned us into doing his bookkeeping. Here are the books. You know what he has planned, yes? Not a clue. But Vorm seems excited enough. I think I'll just lay them down and let him work his magic, you know? And here, even if he stays a petulant little pamphlet, you still deserve a reward. Take it. All right, brother. I'm just going to lay these out. The rest is up to you. Warm! Quite the mess you got yourself into. <sighs> Books don't need to breathe, but it sure feels good to breathe again. Hey, what happened to the books? I was going to read Black Scale again. Black Scale? That garbage is printed en masse. Planar formulae was one of a kind. Oh no, what a loss that is. <laughs> it's good to have you back, brother. And it's good to see you too, sister. Thank you. And thanks to our new friend as well. Greetings, my friend. It is nice to actually have a chance to introduce myself. That other form was 
well, a bit limiting in terms of communicating effectively. I'm Vorm, and I am in your debt. Tell this one about yourself, Vorm. For starters, I'm actually a Nord, and not a floating book. I work as an archivist in service to Hermaeus Mora, though the Lord of Knowledge affords us some freedom on how to conduct our business. Hence, my private little library. How does one become an archivist for Hermaeus Moira? Well, as I like to say, there's no one way to read a book. My family's unconventional upbringing gave me a rather unique perspective, and that attracted the Prince's attention. I get my own space to study as long as I share my findings. You plan on returning to your post in the disquiet study, yes? Naturally. The Guardian of the Unseen may be inscrutable at times, but my prince will surely sort out the bedlam in his halls of erudition before too long. His loyal servants will need to return to make order of the disorder, and I will do my part. How did you end up becoming a book? Oh, just hubris and folly, I'm afraid. Though I'm skilled in many arts, confronting beasts and skulking through labyrinths was always my sister's specialty. I'm not ashamed to admit that when chaos began to befall the study, I panicked. So you turned yourself into a book, whiskey? My mind wandered while attempting to portal out of the study. I imagined hiding within the pages of a book, and in my haste, the spell went awry. I was left a tawdry tome with no hope of returning to normal. Until my sister arrived, of course. How did you know that gathering these books would save you? Gathering... Gathering... I didn't know for sure. But one sense of self stems from the moments and events that shape us. I was willing to bet my connection to these written words, paired with my family's bond, would help return me to normal. Oh, I can't wait to hear how this dolt managed to turn himself into a book. It must have been a novel experience, that's for sure. But no, really. Thank you for your help getting my brother back. We owe you. What are you planning to do now? Good question. Well, seeing as the study is a bit... occupied, Vorm is going to need a place to stay. And as I have no place for him to stay, that means he'll need to accompany me on the proverbial road. Is it too late to turn him back into a book? You think Vorm is going to like traveling with you? Yes? He may be bookish, but my brother really is made of tougher stuff than it seems. This ordeal proves it. He'll do just fine by my side until his precious study is back to normal. Who knows? He may even grow to enjoy a bit of adventure. Good luck on your travel, skilled. Ah! Harley Quinn! Hello, and Dale! Hello, how are you today? Hope you're glad, because if you're not, I'll be sad. Hello, darlings. Well, now I'm concerned, because... Are there other delve quests that I've just sprinted past and not completed and just assumed that I completed? Or was that just an extra delve quest? Someone throw the book at her for that pun. Did I miss it? I feel like I was just kind of... I'm too, I was too busy worrying about other delve quests I've missed. We're going to have to have a trip to each delve now. Oh, no. Um... Quest. Is 
double, let's check this one. I right, probably should have gone to the other one, actually. Slightly closer. I think it's exactly the same, actually, but oh well. Let's have a quick look. Oh no. Oh wait, this is one of the collector ones. We're fine. This is one of those, uh, I found a thing and I've got to go hand it to the person. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's fine. I'm pretty sure I did this quest. sure I did this one yeah 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 we did this one because I remember that it was like I was worried the lurkers got you what? I think I might wait a while before going inside oh I thought you I thought I still had a quest from you or something you don't usually talk to me when I finished a quest Just doing have I done this one should be okay maybe i think maybe that was the only one that i may have missed maybe. Oh, oh. i am a concern what is that oh it's the portal to neck I obviously never went through the portal, did I? I, I cheesed it. Uh, have I done this one? I think I did this one. I think I recognize this one. Oh my, oh my, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Wayne's Wanderer. Hear us. Every time I think I'm nearly at the end of these quests, I get more! Attend, Which is good! Mortal. Your arrival could mean not all is lost. We require aid. The eternal hum of knowledge fades within our sanctum. Creatures of ignorance invade the apogee of the tormenting eye. They come to I'm so confused. I thought... The Delves only cleared when you did the quest or at least my add-on used to only clear them when they do the quest attend mortal Next. your arrival could mean not all is lost we require aid the eternal hum of knowledge fades within our sanctum creatures of ignorance invade the apogee of the tormenting eye Hi, Ari O'Neill. Hello, how are you today? I hope you're glad, because if you're not, I'll be sad. Hey, oh, me again. I'm thinking about getting back into this, but a big thing for me is the lack of ease of finding people to play it with. Any tips? We have a guild finder now. You can find guilds in game uh, that are recruiting, and we have a guild in our Discord as well if you want to come and join us. But uh, we've also got a group finder now. So there's loads of really awesome ways to find players in ESO. You can use the forums. You can use the guild finder. You can use the group finder. You can do random dungeons and get put with people. You can look in zone chat and ask if anyone wants to play. There's so many ways now. It's, we're kind of spoilt with choice now, which is good. This is how they got the idea for the never-ending dungeon. <laughs> Ansar Kajit. What kind of creatures do you mean? Dremnikin. Our order, the Remnants, gathers knowledge. These beasts consume it. They breached our wards, burrowing into the apogee. Relics from across Apocrypha are now at risk. We must drive them out. You've arrived to aid us. Oh, balls. Please hold. I'm really sorry, this just isn't working anymore. Really? Yeah, you'll thank me eventually. It'll be fine, you just need a cup of tea. What? A graze or minor injury. There's tea. There's tea. You took an arrow to the knee. Have tea. Oh, tea. Oh, 
steps back when I lose all control. Watch me turn into a werewolf, and I will hold to the break of dawn. Don't you dare you try to stop me. This is the whole.
was a kid, I'd get up early in the morning and sit in the middle of Skywatch to watch the whole place wake up. I loved watching everyone go about their routines, smelling on the smell, seeing the sunrise. It was like a play, just for me. Sorry, I said no more fish. I think I'm back. I'm either going to get another call. For, it was a call from Badgers. I'm either going to get another call from Badgers or he'll message me depending on how the phone calls go after the phone call that we just had. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um... Ah, yeah. Stuff and things, 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 stuff and things. Anyway. Yeah, I muted myself because sometimes I get really paranoid because I've got my stream deck. Every time I go on a back break or a starting soon or an end screen, I've automatically got it to mute my uh, microphone, which is still hilariously labeled Yeti on my OBS. Um, I've not had a Yeti for a couple of years now. Um, anyway, so I've got it to automatically mute that, but sometimes I get paranoid and I have to mute it anyway manually just because... Uh, my CC, I feel like, would pick me up on the back screens and just, like, let you all know what I'm saying. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm back. Attend, mortal. Your arrival could mean not all is lost. We require aid. The eternal hum of knowledge fades within our sanctum. Creatures of ignorance invade the apogee of the tormenting eye. They come to consume. No, I muted it on purpose. I did. I did mute it. Uh, that, that was on purpose. I just forgot to unmute myself when I came back. <laughs> Please, answer, Khajiit. What kind of creatures do you mean? Dremnikin. Our order, the remnants, gathers knowledge. These beasts consume it. They breached our wards, burrowing into the apogee. Relics from across Apocrypha are now at risk. We must drive them out. You've arrived to aid us. Why do you think Coriel will help you? Why else would the Eye of All place you here now? Be certain. The remnants reward service. Didn't we help them A earlier? Simple task. Recover the relics before the Dremnik can find them. Close the beast's entry portals. Then activate the Apogee's protective wards. I wonder what Help happens... Us. I wonder what happens if you do the other quest after this one. Like, does he have a different speech? Oh, Riel will close the portal. Told you. Hang on. You have got to be taking the mickey. Shut it, dirty chav.
<laughs> Everything is fine. Stubbertson is definitely not yaying at the most inappropriate moment again. Stubbertson! Okay, I'm back again. Sorry about that, folks. Alright, I should have turned on fishing for you, shouldn't I? Although technically you could have done it, it would have popped up in the chat, but still. Do you know what? I think I just need to give up. Something is telling me not to do this quest right now. I don't know what is going on. I, this quest is telling me not to do this right now. I don't know why, but something is stopping me doing this quest. Dude. It's probably a really short one too. It's calling me back again, hang on. <laughs>
I'm back. Did anyone fish? <laughs> I actually remember to unmute myself this time. I hope you enjoyed staring at a map for a little while. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, badges. I didn't want to push the back screen button again because it plays an ad and I didn't want you all thinking that I was being really greedy. So yeah, I didn't want to push the back screen because it plays ads. Anyway, uh, right. Listen. Listen, 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 listen. Is my stream deck crashed? No, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I think I'm gonna end the Necron play there because I don't know why something's telling me not to do this quest. Every time I've started it, someone's rang me, something's happened, blah, 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 blah. So I'm just gonna not do it. Something's telling me not to do it. If you have been watching on the VOD today, thank you for following me on my continued Necrom journey. Uh, I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you haven't been following along with my Necrom playthrough, at historians that are watching the VOD, uh, you can go check out my previous Necroms. Uh, there's a playlist at the beginning of the video in the description or on the side somewhere, you'll see it. It's on my channel. It's the uh, Elder Scrolls Online playlist. It's got all my Necrom story on there from episode one up to whatever episode this is on. So uh, yeah, don't forget if you wanna check out the Elder Scrolls Online, you can use my Humble Bundle links and uh, though you'll, you'll give some extra bonnies to me at no extra cost to you. And once again, hashtag ad, hashtag gifted, hashtag Elder Scrolls Online stream team partner, blah, blah, blah. Thank you for coming along. You don't just deserve a life. You deserve a happy, healthy, and fulfilled life. Until next time, t historians. not if you're watching live. You're sticking around for a bit if you're watching live. Bye! If you're watching live, like I said, it's not the end of the line for you just yet. We're going to do a little wind down. We're going to find someone to raid. I just, something's telling me to finish the stream because of all these in interruptions. So I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go send you to someone else who's not going to have all these interruptions. Plus, there's a few little bits and bobs that I need to get on with in the background, too. Okay. Hello, General Tim. Hello, Temp Jaeger. Hello, how are you today? I hope you're glad, because if you're not, I'll be sad. Hello, my sausages. How are you doing today, my sweetie beans? No worries, Kay. Yeah, something's telling me that I'm, you know, something's telling me to get off. <laughs> you know where you just get the feeling of, like... To be fair, I do need to catch up on a lot of emails, etc., because the whole of yesterday... I was editing content, ed editing videos for secret projects. Yeah. So um, I need to catch up on a bunch of stuff. So you know what? We'll come back refreshed and ready for tomorrow. We'll do our ESO dailies. And you know what else we're doing tomorrow? Fallout Fridays. If you have Fallout 76 or you have Game Pass, you can download Fallout 76. Come play with us. I don't care what level you are. In fact, it's probably better if you play tomorrow as a new level you can skip to level 20 hashtag uh add hashtag gifted by the way um but uh because i was given fallout first and some 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 atoms yesterday i finally got the new piggy plush i'm really happy but yeah if you if you join tomorrow uh there's three places in my team or you can just travel on i can add you as a friend and you can join the world anyway and we can just go around together but what i'll usually do is have the low levels in the group with me because then i can keep an eye on their uh like health and stuff like that i can heal you up i can help you and uh, you can travel onto me for free so you don't have to spend any caps traveling so it's a really good idea to come and play tomorrow if you've been interested in fallout 76 and you want to give it a go tomorrow is a great way to do that because we're going to be playing together tomorrow uh we're doing fallout friday pretty much every friday that i can stream up until uh the fallout prime release so i'm really excited for the fallout prime release and I really want more Fallout collector boosters for Magic the Gathering. Are they back on stock in Amazon yet? Or did they all sell out and they're never being restocked? Let me have a look. Fallout. Fallout. I need to... I should pro probably put the Math Mothman one on my thing as well. Mothman, Magic, the Gathering. I should probably add Mothman to my wish list too. Because I haven't done that. Although Mothman might already have been sold out. Oh. Oh. oh no, he's there, he's there. 
He's there. That's that's Dutch. That that that's in Dutch. That that's in Dutch. That's not in English. Are all of these in Dutch? Oh no no that's in English. That's in English. Okay, cool. Oh, there's a collector booster box. Anyone, you know, want a 379 pound for a collector booster box? Anyone? Anyone? <laughs> Let me add this to my throne before I forget. I'll add it under four badgers as well, because badgers will be interested in this as well as me. And Mothman! red circle and then a v and then you got a little mothman uh this uh but there's there is love four badges <whistles> now my internet's playing up is my stream okay oh bye bandit it's all going on it's all happening it's all happening Is Magic Madhouse on Rome partner list? Oh my goodness. Yeah, stream is lagging a bit now. I don't know. Sykes tell me to get off. suggestion box here so I can suggest that they become a uh ideas Madhouse considered being a throne partner, it would mean that we could add Magic Madhouse products to our wish list without any extra fees or requiring a payout and order ourselves. I know, I know. I didn't even update today. Oh my. Someone please write the word throne in chat. So I'm a little bit squamboobleed right now. That's a new word. I'm a little bit squamboobleed. I just need to give up, don't I, really? should do this when i'm off stream i don't know why i'm doing it now i'm i'm the worst i have these ideas at the worst times okay forgot i didn't forget how to spell i forgot how to type i got i forgot how to type
I was claiming a little bit on the last break and I was an idiot who wore one of my favorite shirts. I got bleach on it. I'm like, oh, I hate that Stubbertson. But here's a top tip. Look up bleach art on t-shirts and turn the sad moment into a fun art project. Yeah. I could try that. It's a Starfield shirt. But I, yeah, you could do like, you could get a toothbrush and put some gloves on and put bleach on the toothbrush and splat it and turn it into like a galaxy. Oh my God, yes. Absolutely. There you go. Fun little art project for you. All the kiddos. Although maybe spraying bleach everywhere is not a good idea for kiddos. Maybe not. I'm gonna do this when I'm off stream. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just. Wait, what? Oh. Sorry, I'm so distracted. I'm supposed to be finding someone to bring. <gasps> oh, why am I this way? Why am I this way? No, my kids, they tried to eat it. Yeah, I bet if you look up Bleach Galaxy shirt, shirt, there'll be some really cool stuff that you can do with it. And then you know that no one else has that shirt. Kind of good that it's a Starfield shirt because you can make it all fancy. You could make it all fancy. Fancy, fancy. <laughs> ah, we're going to go raid the lovely Dawn Whisper because she's playing Do Dragon's Dogma and I'm really interested in Dragon's Dogma. I tend to subscribe to the theory that ADHD, as we call it today, was an advantage in the human hunter-gatherer era. So that is why it is that way. I'm confused. Let me do... Uh, we bring tea, biscuits, and DD uh, to hype, hype. We heard there's cat people. Friends? <laughs> I'm really interested in Dragon's Dogma. Uh, I have applied for a code, so uh, we're going to check that out. We're going to check that out at some point, if I get accepted. I might get denied, because my numbers are not what they used to be, chat. They are not what they used to be. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna slap my fire and I'm gonna say right, and we're gonna go raid the lovely dawn. That's what we're gonna do. That's the plan. Dem's the plans. We're gonna slap our fire and go right. Sorry, this just isn't working. Out. Thank you very much for coming along today. I really, really, really appreciate it. Especially all those on this list right here. You went above and beyond to support the stream. And if I could put you all on here, you know that I would. But I'd run out of room. And I'd be here forever. So it's just a little thank you to those that went the extra. What was that? Oh, noise. 
Did you hear that? It's like a bubble popping. You took an arrow to... Anyway, thank you very much for coming along. I really appreciate it. We'll see you again very, very soon, my darlings. Don't forget to follow me on my socials, kpowertsy.com for slash links. Check out Sprites. Go treat yourself to some Sprites. Treat your friends to some Sprites. More Sprites will be added at some point. Uh, but, uh, yeah. School of Two Sorcery, so Circle of Two Christy, thank you. I'm sorry, thank you. Sorry soon. Baby. I love you, but don't forget you don't just deserve a life, you deserve a happy, healthy, and fulfilled life. I'm just gonna go because I'm obviously not making much sense right now. But I'll be back tomorrow for Fallout Friday. Until then, I love you, but and I'll see you tomorrow. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, 12 30 pm. GMT is changing to BST at the end of the month. Can we get rid of daylight savings time? Please. We're gonna go see Dawn who's playing Dragon Dogma. Okay? I'm really sorry, this just isn't working anymore. Really? Yeah, you'll thank me eventually. You'll be fine, you just need a cup of tea. What? Shh! Bogies! A graze on minor injury. There's tea. There's tea. You took an arrow to the knee. Have tea. Oh, tea. Even winners of the morning. Change the course of history, lovely cup of tea. When Monday leaves you feeling blue, and your boss has a rage that you can't subdue, you likely see his point of view if you just sit down and have a brew. If zombies come back from the dead, and you're all tucked up inside your bed. Your legs trapped underneath debris There's tea, there's tea You feel a burning when you pee Have tea, oh tea Been sexual